Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope you're all ready. Bright and early today. We're not late. That makes a nice change. <laughs> but good morning, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to be playing Poppy Playtime, which has been heavily requested on the channel, like, ever since I debuted. So I'm really excited to see why people love this one so much. <laughs> it's Playtime. Yeah, every time I read it's Playtime, I basically imagine it in Luca voice, to be fair. Like his, it's showtime. It's playtime. But yeah, good morning. <laughs> it's actually won the poll of like, when I asked people, which game do you want me to play on the membership post? This one absolutely dominated against everything else. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how it goes. Um, I saw some people playing the normal game we play whenever we play a new horror game of Guess how many times Fuchan will actually be afraid. I'm going to place my bets on two throughout the whole stream. Two throughout the whole stream, so through chapters one and two. I can't particularly see it going much higher than that. <laughs> I chose this and I'm sorry. Oh, that sounds like a good start to the day then. <laughs> Placing my bets on zero. I, I'm, I'm trusting this game to give me some sort of jump scare every here or there. What an interesting BGM. Yeah, it's very classic sounding. Honestly, I bet zero. I'm kind of hoping so. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping so. I mean, I want it to be a good game. I want it to be entertaining, but I don't need it to be particularly scary. Maybe just a bit atmospheric. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe they'll just have really good like music scares. I have the uh, sound up pretty high, so who knows? Does jump scare count as fear though? Yeah, I mean, it depends on what kind of jump scare though. If it manages to jump scare you without actually like doing the scare part and it just makes you literally jump because it's just a sudden noise kind of thing, that's less interesting, but it, it's still a scare. So yeah, I'd count those. There are just the occasional ones where I don't count them where it just like feels like complete BS. <laughs> but with that said, let's jump into this game, see what Poppy Playtime is all about. I honestly know nothing about this other than the creepy mascot characters, which of course to me, I mean, seeing this giant factory of Funland craziness, I'm imagining this is going to be like FNAF-inspired. <laughs> but I know the gameplay is different, so let's see what's going to happen. Oh, well, that changed things up quite a bit. <laughs> we went from like nice, happy, classic times to oh, foreboding atmosphere and creepy puppet. Lovely. So it's not FNAF? It's not FNAF, no. I just mean, like, after FNAF released, everybody started doing the whole, like, oh, ho, ho, it's crazy fun time mascot characters, but they're evil kind of thing. I mean, FNAF just made it more popular. It was always a thing. It's just that to me is like FNAF expired when it comes to like Bendy, this, Garden of Bantan, all those kinds of things. Chapter one, a tight squeeze. As the next employee of Playtime Company, you finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. I love how it doesn't give a reason for it. <laughs> I've just decided to come back to my old workplace. Great memories here. Let's go. New game. Vidrez. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the oh, world. Oh, we've got evil AI. So a girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Mm-hmm. Just watch. Especially with the resolution of this video. This is a 90s hope. That's Poppy less creepy than the new doll. And she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Yeah, that's creepy as shit. Eyes are too big. You? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Her hair is dirty. See, I find this way creepier than the giant blue thing that's with the big red lips. Flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. It's Maririn. Playtime! Playtime! 
she's a real girl. If you ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Oh, it looked creepy even while it was in use. That's great. Also, why would you want a doll to smell like poppies? They don't have a great smell. <laughs> $3 only for a tour. Remember, that looked like it was back in like the 1980s. Back then, you could go to a movie theater for like two bucks. Okay, this should be fun. <laughs> Marty Lynn is more cute. Yeah, Marty Lynn's definitely less creepy. Um, honestly, I feel like it's when people are trying to make things cute that they actually make things creepy. Oh, shit! Fuck, I didn't even read that. I thought I had time. Something about find the flower. <laughs> what the hell? That looked like a loading screen where I could just press things away. Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> Rip lol. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I saw the important part. I have to find a flower. Anyway. <laughs> Things are more creepy when they don't try to make them creepy. Like clowns that are trying to look child friendly. Terrifying. Clowns that are trying to look scary. It's like, oh, it's just a Halloween costume. Good job. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Oh, wait. I guess Poppy's a girl. Welcome. Lath Pierre closing. Oh, we got a classic looking computer too. Still got a CD drive. We don't have Dems no more. Everybody just uses USBs. Basically, it says us employees are still here. Well, that's terrifying. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> huh. There'll probably be a code for that somewhere. CD drive, my Oshi. I guess some people do still have CD drives. That's creepy. Eat healthy, like brawn. Oh, it's just a train. It's fine, guys. It's just a train. Don't worry about it. I have a CD drive. I specifically wanted one when I built my PC. They're useful. I mean, it's better for if you need to do like a hard restart and shit. Um, like a full wipe and stuff. Nothing in here seems to be interesting. Boogie bat. And Playtime Co. And Huggy. Candy Cat. I don't like the tongue. <laughs> Maybe there are secrets here. Nope. Wow. Red, 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 yellow, red, yellow, blue. I mean, maybe I just have to use the only ones that are actually on the floor, which are red, yellow, and blue. Red. And. Yellow and blue. Damn it. Red and yellow and blue. Red and yellow and blue. <laughs> and green! Damn it. Blue circle. Poppy wants to play. Oh, that's why it's red, yellow, and blue. It's all of Poppy's colors. What the hell is the code then? <laughs> Why did that poppy turn into this poppy? Really, like, completely different things, I wonder. Blue hand. Am I lost already? <laughs> no backseat chat? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Or if I don't figure it out, I'll give up pretty quickly. Don't worry about it. I am a quitter. It has to be four colors. There's blue, yellow. Oh, is it the light blue? No. Hmm. It's on the wall. You're a quitter. I've been a quitter recently. Been pretty lazy. That adorable. Oh! Blue, pink, yellow, red. Blue, pink, yellow, red. Or the opposite way. Blue, pink, yellow, red. Blue, pink, yellow, red. It's the twain. <laughs> Blue, pink, yellow, red. Blue, pink, yellow, red. Or the opposite. Blue, pink, Yellow, red, so red, yellow, pink, blue. Blue, pink, yellow, red. Red, yellow, pink, blue. What the fuck, really? 
It looked like they had arrows on it. <laughs> that didn't look blue. Wait, are you kidding me? It's green. The front of it's blue. The front of it's blue. <laughs> okay. It's probably le right to left too, since the arrows are going left. So red, yellow, pink, green. Red, yellow, pink, green. <laughs> Fine, I'll put it on. It's so early, but you know what? I do deserve it. <laughs> God, and now I ran into a wall and I forgot the code. <laughs> I think it's just... What was it? Green, red, yellow, pink. Pink, yellow, red, green. I actually forgot it. <laughs> God, it. I ran into a wall and got distracted because I was putting on my stupid clown wig. That's on you guys. Okay, red, yellow, pink, green. Red, yellow, pink, green. Red, yellow, pink, green. <laughs> red, yellow, pink, green. <laughs> this is the first puzzle. Damn it. Ah, uh, red, yellow, pink, green. Ah, I'm free. Goodbye, Clownwick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's terrible. Oh, I can put in the VHS now. Well, maybe I can't. I got another one. Grab pack training. What's a grab pack? Sounds like something I could drink. Like a... Uh, what is that thing called? Ecto cooler from the 80s. Playtime co! The grab pack. Okay, you got a blue hand and a red hand. That's big. Tighten the straps. I like this music. Hold both cannons. That does not look safe for children. Pull the trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. This is what old people should have for mobility. Hold to grip onto the object. Only fire at small objects slash handles. This is way better than one of those little extendy hand things. Do not fire at a coworker. Holy crap. You will rip off their heads. Wire is conductive. Use for re rewiring. Wouldn't that... No, I'm sure they have circuits that protect me. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. What's the time? Playtime, Co. <laughs> Off with your head. God, I hope I get to do that to one of the monsters at some point. Oh, this one's old. Why do I only have one hand? This is great. Oh shit, it goes far. Got your nose. Got your nose. <laughs> Come on, get off of that. <gasps> yes, yeah, so close. Perfect. Okay. Oh, you hold to keep pulling. Sick. That's an invisible wall. Okay. Oh, we can move on. Although now I figured out where the green VHS player goes. I didn't know that was a thing. Hi, my name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the Leif head of animation Pierre. here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yep. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, uh -huh. make you aware while we pride ourselves primarily on our high quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. Uh -oh. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security. They have murderous dolls, no don't toys. they? <laughs> so, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Why do I just see like a lump of blue fur? What's a creepy looking video aspect of the video? Motion triggers? Yeah. Which means they probably already know that I'm here. Fuck your computer. <laughs> okay. High five. Sick. Oh, I don't like that. I fired, bruh. Yo, 
<laughs> oh, dirty. Anyway, hug, gay, huggy, huggy. That's probably better than hug gay. Gay hug. <laughs> Dead-eyed stare. I mean, so far he looks friendly. That might be why he's smiling. Maybe a lot of people, when they first get these machines, are just like, <laughs> huggy wuggy. Okay, so that's not Poppy. That makes sense. I wonder why Poppy is the namesake then. Hmm. Lake Time Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. Hug you till the end of time. Your end of time, at least. <laughs> As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. <laughs> God, you're creepy looking. It looks like a mixture of, like, a pipe cleaner toy that a child made and Beast from the X-Men. <laughs> also, what's the four-step process to creating the most realistic toys? Is step one, kidnap a child and put them inside the suit? Because that's what it sounds like. Ah. What was the chain sound? <laughs> Every other sound I understood. What was the chains rattling from? Um. Well, that's locked. What about testing? Also locked. Interesting. Yeah, I guess I need both of those. Really could use a flashlight right about now. Or maybe a huggy wuggy friend. Oh. Thank you. It is dark. Um, I think it's supposed to be though. <laughs> Press the button for Chan. I, I got a key. I don't need any button. Oh, Huggy Wuggy gave me a key somehow. Okay, I got a power supply. Imagine if I fix this and we'll get lights on. Ooh, huh? Two. Now who shut that door? Now, who locked that door? Someone's being a bit goofy. A bit silly. What's that? Oh, it's a mask. Fun. The security features? Yeah, let's just go with that. Remember, do be kind to others and show up on time and not hide behind doors to scare Lathe Pierre. <laughs> Why has that become so common? They have to put it on the fucking wall. That's awesome. Don't stay past 8 p.m., misuse company time, tamper with machinery, or enter innovation wing without orphanization. Yeah, there's totally dead children in the, in the innovation wing. Okay, this looks important. One of these has to be unplugged. One, two, three. Where's the third one? It just disappears. I can't pick them up. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there it is. High voltage. Danger. Danger. Come on, pull harder. Pull harder. I believe in you. There we go. Grab to divert power. But I don't have a second hand. I can't do the connecty thing. Unless I just literally... Walk it over? No. <laughs> Maybe I need to go find a second hand. That's a lot of blood splatter. Creepy. Full harder, he says. I mean, that's the only way my life goes. Oh, I see. 
This is the power thing. What? What? Interesting. Oh, I'm powering that, <laughs> but what am I powering it for? Um. Um. Do I need to power the other one too? Or if I now power this. My brain. Grab to divert power. I want to. Believe me. There's a cage in the way. Hmm. I am the confusion. Maybe I can get it this far. Who knows? God, it's this game. Yep. We're still learning silly things. Oh, I can. That still does nothing. <laughs> That's as far as I can go. Damn it. What do I do with this? Oh, it's glowing now. Maybe that's it. Nope, still not working. Hmm. Is the other one up too? It should have been. I mean, I... I, I hope. <laughs> I, I run. Maybe I have to go the whole way around it. Like, one loop. Oh! Okay. Somehow it came loose off of the other one. That's strange. Well, okay. Now we've got power anyway. Let's go see those blood stains now that we've got light. Maybe they'll look less creepy. Nope. More creepy. <laughs> Fun. Yay. Let's go. Yep. One part down. You're coming with me, toy car. <gasps> oh, it left me. Oh. Huggy Wuggy gone. Huggy Wuggy moved. Um. Let's not worry about that. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> you went to the bathroom? Yeah, I mean. He's a very busy security guard, I'd imagine. He's got a lot of things. Did you guys see that hand go back inside that door? <laughs> Because I didn't see the hand until it went inside the door. Nope. I said nope. Well, shit. Nothing can hurt me up here. I'm the biggest problem up here. <laughs> Huggy Wuggy. Not hiding behind the door, are you? not trying to scare me, are you? We're friends. Friends don't scare friends. <laughs> He's got a hammer. That's worrying. Make him fear Yufu. I'm sure he already does. Everybody fears the man with the extendy arms. Fun. Is this a door? Robo friend. He's in the walls. He's definitely somewhere. Okay, we need an orange VHS. Chicken. Day two. Honestly, this is nice and fun. So far, he hasn't jumped out at us. He hasn't tried to terrify us. He's just letting us enjoy our stroll around. Oh, that's creepy as shit. Hello, friend. What is your name? I think I'll name you Timothy, too. You just give off a Timothy vibe. Huggy says, remember to take breaks. <laughs> or he'll break you. Breaks longer than 10 minutes are not permitted. <laughs> I love Huggy. He's a good boy. Red. Blue? Yellow? Green? I can't press shit. What, what did I get? 
What, what are you? <laughs> okay, I've got a thing. I guess down I go. I guess down the main way I go. Since Poppy's been telling me to go this way. Timothy? Yeah, he looks like a Timothy. He has tiny Tim energy. Come on, Timothy. I don't think he came with me. That's okay. <laughs> Lost an arm and a leg getting up to where I am. <laughs> oh, that one's cuter. Why can't I pick up that one? Love the little antelope head. Still need a red hand. Aggravation. Medium. Small. Where's the lodges at? <clears throat> How's a six foot three man supposed to survive in these conditions? Got another creepy power pack thing. Hello, darkness smiled friend. Come to be terrified by you again. <clears throat> oh, there's a glowy thing up there. I think I got it. It made a weird sound, so I'm assuming. It's in my inventory. Yeah. Got a blue one and two yellow ones. Wonder what I do with these things. What did I grab onto? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Didn't know you never played this game before? Yeah, I knew nothing about this game before. People have always asked me to play it, but I've been like, I don't know. It's very FNAF coded. I'm not a fan of FNAF. Oh, I'm back here again. Well, let's go back up. Maybe these power cores can be plugged into that weird thing. Maybe I need all four first. <clears throat> yep, now I just need a green one. Oh, and it's right there. Come on. Nail it. Come on, I don't want to go all the way down there. Come on. Ah, it's so close. Okay, now all the way back up. <laughs> you good with the cough? Yeah, I've just been going a little weird, like, scratchy thing. So every now and then it's making me cough, and I'm trying to drink water to get rid of it. But sorry, yeah, I might be coughing a bit today, on and off. What does these do? <gasps> Yo, red hand, finally! Bring it to me. Warm water helps? Yeah, I've got cold water, but it'll do what it'll do. Ah, oh, hells yes. <gasps> Let me guess. Right click. Yay. I like how you can use them entirely separately, too. High 10, baby. Now we got the double high five. Nothing can stop us. That looks inviting. Whee! Danger, do not enter. But what if I did, though? Heep! Have to complete circuit. Fine. God, I just wanted to play around. Wait, where is number one? I could find number two. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's not what they want me to grab. Okay. There we go. Come on, right click. Right, right click. Why am I too far away? I think I'm too far away. Ah, it's so aggravating. I'm right here. <laughs> Come on. Ah, fine. I'll find another way. 
Um, that's too far of a distance. Maybe I need to power up this thing instead. Where was that baby? We um. Oh, do I have to like? We. Oh, I powered something. <laughs> did nothing for me hmm great asset great great asset at least i can hide 10 things we god i really can't get up there but it seems like that's what it wants me to do yeah eh. god damn it how the fuck do i do this then there is just no way Oh, idiot, Fuchan. What the fuck? <laughs> so I need to do this. <laughs> God damn it. Ooh. Great asset. Great, great asset. To the company. Got a great asset. On my booty. And now we're being moved. Yeah, uh oh. Worrying. Very, very dark and worrying. I bet Mr. Huggy Wuggy's gonna come out of one of them's eventually. Or not. Just a bunch of toy heads and arms. Oh, the music got cool. Make a friend? Oh, I want to, though. Make a friend, 1960. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. Yet of all the amazing things that he created, the Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. Okay, I mean, you wrote this. You don't get to say that about yourself. The Make a Friend machine is blah, 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 blah. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts that it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or backbreaking labor. This machine can do all that and more. Oh god, what happens if you put a human into it? Does it make you a friend with a human soul and intelligence? Gotta guess that's what happens. Okay, I'm out of here. I don't need a friend. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. Too badass. I don't need the power of friendship in my life. Don't think of it. We never found the orange VHS. Great asset. Great, great asset. To the company. Hmm. Where am I even connecting this to? <laughs> I just began my walking journey without even... Th oh, down there? No. Um. Now I could get back if I need... Ah. What? Huh? Am I going crazy? I might be going crazy. <laughs> Wait, what was just... Something was very wrong there. I need to not get tangled. Ah. That's what this game's going to be all about, huh? Oh, or do I need the light? I need to light those up. I was incorrect. Okay. That's easy then. <laughs> I didn't realize those were power cable thingies. Okay. In which case. How's it going, Folger? Good so far. I need to get that one first. And then this one. But then, also. <laughs> I need to be able to make it over there, which is pretty fucking impossible. Wait. Okay, not this way. Um, ah, ah, ee, ee, ah. I feel like my dog, when he gets wrapped around his leash. <laughs> um, okay, this one first. And then this one. 
And then I need to manage to get back over there, which means I need to pull this, but I can't pull this. Uh, fuck. Go that way. Go, go, go that way. Come on. Come on. Be a friend. Be a buddy. Be a guy. Shit. Huh. Uh, it won't let me over there. Okay. Fucking getting in my way. Okay. There we go. Now we can make a friend. Sure. Should be able to scoot it with our foot. I know, right? We could make it go forward just by like a couple of inches and then just do the jump. My way would have made sense if it was working. Power on. Oh God, am I almost dead from that fall? Yeah, I was almost dead. Everything got slow and creepy. That is one noisy bitch. Where's my friend going to appear? Hello? Friend? Do, do I get a friend? I'm told I can't leave without a friend. Oh, well, that doesn't help much. Maybe I need to open these up. Okay. Head, chest, arms and legs. Perfect. Let's go with more. Oh, that's it. I wanted to put them all in. Okay, we're going to get a friend. The friend is just there lurking and waiting. I don't want any of these. Do it. Its eyes follow me. Oh, that's creepy as shit. Did not need that shit in my life. Ah, It's cute. It's like a tiger, but with a bug's head. It's got like the antennae. Don't eat my friend. He's a good boy. No! Is that a bee tiger? It kind of looks like one. Oh, now it's all put together. This is my friend. You should name your friend? Hmm. It's like a tiger bee. Very bug fables coded. Oh no, I don't. The expression on his face makes me so sad. Hmm, it's like a combination of the villains from Ver and a Pomu. Pomu ver. Vermu. Pover? Power. Power. Its name is Power. Come here, Power. I think I need to put you here, Power. I has friend. You can let me. Oh, he's gone! Power, no! Did I sacrifice Power to get out of here? I want another friend! Oh, goodbye, poor. That's so mean. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Back, back, back. I say. Oh, he crouch. Cease, cease. Uh, my left hand is trapped. It got stuck on the other side of the door. Uh oh. Um, you good? Okay, right, I'm just gonna leave. You, you do you. You get in here? Bet you can't. Damn ass. Okay, on we go. Wee! Ogre run? Why? He shambles at me. <laughs> he doesn't even want to fight me. Hey, buddy. He's coming this way. Oh, hey, buddy. Wow. He came out of nowhere, man. 
<laughs> Innovation is key. Yeah, I'll get to that room someday. Thank you, science. I really thought he was going to come from the right. I was so ready for him on the right. <laughs> that got me so bad. Yeah, man. It's like crawling around in an air vent. Shit's getting real. Hey, buddy. Eh, eh. I got your crotch. I got your crotch. I got your nose. <laughs> Bye. Didn't even get to do the creepy staring thing this time. When did I get a flashlight, too? Okay, up this way. This time we do go right. Danger, don't, strange. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. No, sir, no thank you. Stop. I don't think I should stop. That won't be good for my life. I'm so hungry. Me too, but I just had eggs. Stop. No. Stop. Don't. Stay. Stop. Weep. Sure. I can hear him chasing me. Ah, wrong way. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I don't like this game anymore. Oh, God. It's making me go slow. Wee! Jump, 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 jump. Come at me, I fucking dare you, bro. I've got grabby hands for days. Okay. Well, I thought I had to drop that on his head. Apparently not. <laughs> you came very quickly. It's too early to die. Don't give up. Archivist had to stop and read. I mean, I gotta get the flavor text of the world we're going through. <laughs> oh man, all the way from back here. Jesus. Okay, Huggy Wuggy. I'll see you on the other side. Bow, 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 wee. To the windows. To the walls. So let's take a shortcut to the right. He's teleporting, man. That's cheating. I could teleport. I'd get through this in no time at all. Wee! Wrong way. Oh, God! It is really creepy when you can actually see him coming for you. That's a big body to be being shoved through all these tiny little tunnels. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Wrong way. Uh-oh. I'm gonna die. Which way? Which way? Which way? Open. Open. I think I went backwards. I think I'm dead. Jump. 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 Ooh. Okay, so I probably just have to grab this thing. Come to me. Perfect. I found the poppy. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Did I kill Mr. Huggy Wuggy? What the f Why do they need a place this big with nothing in it? This just got creepier as shit. There goes my heart rate. <laughs> yeah. That was a fun moment, man. Every time you see him coming for you, shit gets weird. What if I don't go to the flower, though? That's what they want me to do. I never found this one, either. Well, shit. I've missed so much of the lore. Oh, oh. That one was right the fuck there. <laughs> okay. At least we get some of the lore. Missed two of them. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Mm -hmm. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. 
his absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. Huh? That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Who's absent? And future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of screaming and murder going on in the background. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... End of your life, bro. Okay, the screams gotta love that, yeah. Like how he's just calmly narrating everything while that's going down. For the sake of science. Stop, no, run, go back, turn around, stop, no. Hey, it's my friend. Power, what are you doing out here? <gasps> Another power. Okay, later. He knew he was going to die? Yeah. Seem to think there's some sort of big breakthrough that'll make it all worth it. Like, what the fuck is this wallpaper? I mean, I know it's poppies. It just looks like grandma's house now. Why does the light make everything look more creepy? <laughs> Somebody used to live here, huh? My pillow. <laughs> this is definitely like a child's bedroom. I think I don't see that hidden door. Get out of the way, sir. Can't move it. That's so aggravating. No, oh, it's so close. It's so tantalizingly close. <laughs> Yeah, you just can't grab it at all. That sucks. Pillow fort? Yeah, somebody had a cool bedroom. Nope. Nope. Close it back up. Nope. Nope. No, yeah, yeah. Not, not what I was intending. Not the original evil. Yeah, I figured. Is that the end of chapter one? You opened my case. Don't make it sound so sexual. I figured. Okay, so that person's dead as fuck. They released Poppy. <laughs> Fam released Annabelle. You never open the case, man. You never open the case. <laughs> so it's a tidy doll. Size difference, man. It's gonna murder me anyway. Clearly, it's about 40 years old. This place clearly went out of business sometime in the 90s. Just give it time. She's going to be murdering me. Interesting. Considering that was just chapter one, they did, like, build up an interesting idea for some scary shit going down. How is it sexual? I don't know, man. It was just the whole, you opened my case. That's my daughter. Jessica, your daughter is creepy as shit. I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> That eBay value if you use it unopened. Especially if it contains a demon or some shit. You fuck around with Annabelle, you're gonna die. I've seen all of those movies. It's only been 10 years since it closed, Foo. Oh. You see, they should have told me that. <laughs> I don't know what year it is in this game. It looks like the place stopped around the 80s to early 90s. Because, you know, VHS tapes everywhere and shit. Okay. That's the end of chapter one, so let's kill that. I'm gonna load up chapter two. I'll just say that about someone's daughter. I'm sorry, if your daughter is creepy as shit, I'm gonna say they're creepy as shit. It's nothing that means like, hey, there's something wrong with your daughter. It's just a very simple case that if your daughter looks like Poppy or your daughter is Poppy, they're creepy as shit. Chapter two, flying a web. This one has the creepy pink doll on it. Interesting. <laughs> She's not creepy, just unique. I mean, that's the nice way of putting it, but we both know I'm right. <laughs> Poppy play time. Oh, interesting. Every time you relaunch this game, like you have to load up the original one and then choose which chapter to do. Hopefully we get more lore now. Mother Doll is coming. Oh, God. 
So wait, is Huggy Wuggy Daddy? And then this one is Mommy. And Poppy is Baby. That's kind of cute. Found family of psychopathic murdering dolls. Chapter 2. Fly in a web. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly while you search for any way to escape the factory. Let's go. Mommy's just mommy. <laughs> now I'm kind of worried. <laughs> is she mommy or is she mommy? Or is she like, mommy? Wake up. Oh, she's literally mommy. Time Co's new patented elastic plastic. You can stretch, pull, and twist. Oh, telling me to wake up. In the craziest way. I'm enjoy it. Oh, she that's creepy as shit. Play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Long Legs from Playtime Co. Mommy Long Legs. What's the time? Playtime. She's going to be above me when I open. Yep. She's watching me <laughs> while I sleep. Mommy long legs. Hey, mommy. Oh, no, that's Poppy. Wake up. Oh, it wasn't even mommy waking me up. It was Poppy. <laughs> this is when it gets real, man. Yeah, mommy long legs looks kind of creepy. Uh, she's also got long arms. I mean, she's going to be more powerful than I am. At least I have long arms, too. I just don't have the long legs. Oh, I'm alive. I really thought I was going to be dead. Don't want to wake up. I know, right? It was so nice and chill. Also, let's turn subtitles on. Do, do, do. Oh, can you not have subtitles in the... No motion blur. Yuck. Um, and that's fine. Green filter's fine. Oh. You can't have subtitles in this one. They had subtitles in part one. Okay. That's fine. Interesting that we suddenly have film grain. Hmm. No subs for chapter two, sadly. But now we have film grain, which makes it even creepier. I wonder if I can go through that door now. Yep, Poppy opened it up for us. That's sweet of her. Locked our other way, though. Think they forgot to add subtitles? Probably. Probably just wasn't considered too important. <laughs> Okay. This is a big old factory. What up, Huggy Wuggy? I don't know your name yet, Mr. Littlefoot, but you're cute. Screams need no subtitles. <laughs> Would have been useful when she was whispering wake up to me. Can't go those ways. Uh, Huggy Wuggy. That way? Okay. Huggy Wuggy hugged himself a little too hard. <laughs> At that point, that's definitely self-love. Braun. Oh, his name was Braun. Right. Thank you. He's not Littlefoot. That's a... Hey. Oh, no. They have been turning people into toys, haven't they? <laughs> oh, that's a door to hell. That's fun. Huggy Wuggy's into some freaky stuff. Yeah, but if you like asphyxiation. Oh, it's the boss man's room. Mr. Ludwig. The mogul moves man himself. Going? She's in the freaking pipes, man. She's in the freaking pipes. Give me the... Come. I need a ladder. Don't get in my way, Bron. Perfect. Hey, Bron. Oh, he's a little bit blood covered too. Let him cook, guys. I cooked. I, I solved that one pretty quickly. <laughs> in the walls, for real. She's somewhere. Press here. 
No, I don't think I will. <laughs> I think I'll go behind this door instead. Thank you. I changed my mind. You actually look like the lesser of two evils. <laughs> Does someone need a hug? Does someone need a hug? Give me a big squeeze. Give me I a big I squeeze. Oh, what if I want you to bite? You don't even have teeth in your normal form. You do when you come and try to hug me, though. That's bullshit. Come closer, friend. Okay. Here, Al, I'm right next to you. I'll squeeze you until you... Oh. oh. I don't know how he fell over. <laughs> I'll squeeze you until you... I'm gonna say that meant pop. I got a poppy key. Where does the poppy key lead me? Probably into Mr. Ludwig's. Why'd my camera do that? I did not move my mouse to the right. I thought I was falling over in game or something. Okay. The farting. Uh, it didn't sound like farting to me. It sounded like when you squeeze a squeaky toy too hard and it goes... Fancy room. Creepy drawings. Hey, it's Mr. Huggy Wuggy. Candy Cat. My best friend, Brown. Oh, something came in the vents or went out through the vents. I don't know how those pillows went flying. Poppy. Thank you, Mr. Ludwig. Aww. But Elliot Ludwig. Is that what the office was supposed to look like? Huggy and... K k kiss kissy? Huggy and kissy. Oh, yeah. I think I'd rather take Huggy than kissy. Thanks. Elliot Ludwig biography. Oh, this got better in part two. Um, scroll to browse, switch between items and trophies. Did you? Okay, I can kind of read this. <laughs> kissy Missy? Oh, God, yeah. Huggy Wuggy and Missy Kissy. Probably Missy Kissy, right? Terrifying. Experiment 814. Notes. This experiment utilized a live rat. Rat was fed three portions daily for two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, the rat was killed and submerged into a poppy flower and preservative for the gel mixture. One week later, an electric shock was applied to the rat, still in the gel, in an attempt to revive it. The rat remained unresponsive. Analysis. I still believe in the potential of the poppy flower. Its unusual properties lead me to believe that the proper mixture and procedure could have life-altering properties. The poppy flower has for a long time carried heavy symbolism, and I don't believe that's for no reason. Perhaps something larger than a rat would yield different results. And that's when he fed a little girl to it and turned it into poppy. Also, there's a reason that people <laughs> use poppy flowers for a lot of symbolism. It's, it's to do with the drug properties, mainly. But also because there were lots where a lot of soldiers died. Isn't it a drug? Yeah, poppy seeds actually turn into opium. The original opium. Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Well, I can't see his face, so how great is he? His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, they working just, overtime wow. relentlessly I really in an didn't attempt want people to continuously to see his face. innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. Let me guess, his daughter? With so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. His daughter Ludwig died, so he put it back together? Leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19...
I guess I've seen enough. They don't want me to see anymore. I do not like you. Oh, it's a trophy. <laughs> well, I'll take that trophy. I apparently missed a bunch. The bite of 87. I wonder if they're really doing the whole, I tried to put my dead daughter back. Oh, that's covered in blood. <laughs> I tried to put my dead daughter back together storyline. I feel like they do that too often. Maybe it's too obvious. Maybe instead we'll get a surprise. Come, come over this way. Ah, I can't. I wanted to move it over here to get up here. Eh. Ah, I can't get in that vent. We dropped the fingerprint on the toys. Don't worry about it. Somebody's been very busy getting their spaghetti-covered hands everywhere. Has to have been Poppy. This is why you don't bring your daughter to work. No wonder he murdered her and turned her into a doll. She got spaghetti sauce everywhere. Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back on. Oh. I don't know if I should help you. <laughs> but okay, you seem friendly enough for now. I'm taking this very easily considering a doll has started talking to me, but sure, you know what? You don't get to choose your allies. There you go, Poppy. You proud of me? <laughs> um, I wanted to thank you for freeing me. Oh, no worries. I was stuck in there for so long. Thank Got you. your nose. I'd like to pay you back. I take cash. There's a train station nearby. It needs a coat. I have it. We're gonna get out of here. As soon as you get on up here. <laughs> How? Come on. Oh, I can fly now. These are way more powerful. While I'm still a doll. <laughs> I don't like that wording. What are you gonna become other than a doll, Poppy? <laughs> She's too creepy for me to trust her. She's too friendly. Don't you want to come with me? You're making me sad. Good. Fuck you. I know Satan when I see Satan. Is that all the lines they recorded? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't trust her. Nah, she's being way too friendly. If she was just plainly acting evil, that I'd be fine with. Evil I can get behind. This whole bullshit, I'm a little baby girl shit is just nah. Whee! She's in the vents, man. She's in the fucking vents. But she's cute, exactly. Which is how you know she's going to be way more evil than anything we've hey, seen so far. I'm up here. Yes, you I are. See you. <laughs> I should be able to follow you through the vents. This way. I see you. Yeah, totally not evil. 100%. <laughs> Just seems like a normal child. No, no normal child. Is this... When did this light up? Is this kind? Normal children do not like other people. They may be like their parents, but not strangers. And I just... Whee! Okay, I love this game. This is fucking awesome. I did not expect you to suddenly be able to, like, drag yourself up places and shit. Now she's doing the creepy little girl nursery rhyme kind of sounds. A buzzy bee. That's me. Busy bee or buzzy bee? That's buzzy should have two Zs. I guess a busy bee, but spelt with Z. Poppy, why aren't you visiting me in the vents anymore? You busy singing your scary song? Get behind me, Satan. Not today. Shh. We're very quiet. We can push her off the edge before she even knows we're coming. We just gotta sneak up to her. Hope she doesn't see... Listen. Uh -oh. I'm going to 
going to need you to trust me. Bobby! No! I'm coming! How the fuck did I survive that? What the oh, I'm still falling. Um. I might have made the wrong choice jumping into this. Oh. Or not. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> so. Um. All of a sudden worried about her. Well, now that she's being attacked by the creepy things, sure. She's probably evil too, and they're probably just trying to keep her from running away. But the enemy of my enemy is my plaything. How could you push her? They didn't even let me push her. Believe me, I wanted to push her. How did that close so quietly? <laughs> Terrifying. Number one, does it even work? It does. Huh? Oh, it closes a gate if I touch that one. Or that one. Okay, well, I can just do it from here. Fuck you. Huh? Well, now, how the hell? <laughs> Do I have to touch these two at the same time kind of thing? Interesting. This is an annoying one. I feel like I just have to like time it well. Shit. Oh, maybe can I start from the left side? No, that's aggravating as well. Um... Damn it. Fuck. Ah, fuck shit, fuck shit, fuck. Hmm. How do I? Hmm. Maybe I have to use another conduction material. Except there is no other conduction materials. Okay, maybe it is just timing. Oh, or... No, that'll break the circuit. Hmm. Shit. Damn it! Huh. This is interesting. Okay, so I need to touch that one. Do -do 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 -do. There's got to be some way. Fuck. Mm. <laughs> Want a popcorn as well? God damn it. I need to like make a Z. I mean, I could do this. Why does that break it? That doesn't interrupt. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That's stupid. Um, what if I stand on this? Take me to the sky. That's not gonna work. work I think you 
can hold things. Hmm. Blue pipe for. I have so many questions. So I need to touch both of it. Can I just like get it high? Oh, that still breaks it. God! What the? There's got to be something else. There's got to be. Ah! Uh. this why I think about just leads to there creepy I really don't get this <laughs> you can't even like keep it there. Ah, what the fuck, man? If it's got nothing to do with it, I am the confusion. Yeah, all the way down to here. So confused. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. Need to get from one to two. I need to touch all of these things at the same time. As soon as I touch them, it cancels out my fucking thing. So how the hell? Ah, I'm so confused. There's got to be some way to block it or something. Shit. Okay, I'm so fucking confused. I'm not seeing any way to do this. Anything to interact with that actually would make it easier. If only I could turn the power off to, like, link them around first. Ah! Why can't I do that? Can't I, like, unplug something? Yeah. No, okay, that just leads back to the door. Okay, I give up. Give me a hint. <laughs> Second pole first. No, you can't do that. You can't hold on to the pole. 
Believe me, if you could, it would be really easy to just wrap around and then do that. Go around the blue pipe. Hit pole. Wait, what? Go around the blue pipe. How do you get around? Oh. Oh. So I can curl it that way. What would that do for me? Seems that I can line it up this way. What would that stop from happening? I can do this. Then I can get further this way. That doesn't really help me finish this. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So... Maybe if I then... Around this way... Will it still break it? Yeah, it still breaks it. Okay. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, shit. Maybe that lets me get it around the right thing. Because technically it's going shit straight left then. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. That doesn't break it that way. Okay. So now I can get around this thing. Ah. Okay. 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 And then I just need to... Yeah! Okay. I... Wow. Okay, that blue pipe is a clever thing. I... That... Ooh. I did not realize you could get behind that. that. Yeah, okay. That's a smart puzzle. Holy shit. And it was a good environmental puzzle. Thank you guys for not trying to backseat me and giving me time to realize that I just was dumb. <laughs> Could not figure out the blue pipe thing. We. Ah, oh, no, 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 new playmate. So nice. Isn't this exciting, mommy? Ah, uh, give me Poppy back. Very exciting, mommy. Mommy heard that Miss Poppy was going to just give you the train code to escape. That was the now, plan. How is that fun? Instead. Why don't we make a game out of it? The game station is still working. It will be just like old time. Can I have my hand and back? If you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. <gasps> Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Head to Musical Memory and Mommy will get things started. Obey the rules. Or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides while you're still alive. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> we finally found a female monster that I do not want to smash. Too thin. Too thin. Girl needs a sandwich. Too, too much leg, too much arm. Not enough anything else. Although, the things she was saying were quite sexy. But yeah, I, it's not for me, man. It's not for me. I don't even want to call her mommy. Just long legs is fine. You're a creepy little caterpillar bear thing. Mommy knows best. Yeah, of course she does. Yeah, there's Missy Kissy, Puggy Wuggy, Poppy and Mommy long legs. I don't like her. She's creepy. <laughs> the BDSM possibilities. I mean, honestly, you enjoy yourself. It ain't for me. <laughs> Press here? Sure, why not? I'm going to assume that's broken. going to be one that would be nice and scary right near the end if we just kept touching it. Lazy. 
Oh. Kissy Wissy's here, or Missy Kissy, or whatever the fuck. Musical memory? I love candy cats. Cute. Whack-a-huggy. Oh, yes, please. Don't want to let me play. That's bullshit. We Statues. Preparing for departure in three, two, one. Choo-choo! She already sounded creepy. <laughs> Why does she sound so angry? Hi, kids. Welcome to the game station. Hey. I'm Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games to play. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing Musical Memory. See you in a bit. I don't want to follow Mommy Longlegs. I'll go by myself. <laughs> musical Memory, huh? Okay. At least that sounds like I'm going to get to play Wacka Huggy eventually. Wacka Wuggy? That sounds weirder. <laughs> Her voice gives me goosebumps. Yeah, there's something evil going on here. I mean, if as if the blood and the giant holes everywhere weren't enough to say. Are you Stella? Let's party! Playtime co-employees are not permitted to partake in group festivities during company hours. <laughs> oh, good times. I know when your birthday is. Ah, it's not Stella. <laughs> How did they know? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but at the same time, I wonder if that... Oh, maybe that gives away which character I am. Maybe I should go back and see when What's-His-Face was born. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Uh, Ludwig. Maybe I'm Ludwig. I'm you. It's a win. Birthday. It's not till oh, next happy, week. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Oh, it's Markiplier's birthday. Oh, that's cheating. It would have been way better if they had a way to, like, read the source code. Uh, not the source code. The, like, data saved in your computer and be like, oh, yeah, they have the birthday marked on their calendar. They had, like, a unique voice line for every single day of the year. That'd be crazy. Happy early birthday, Foo. Thank you. We, we, we've got a few days. Molding room. Oh, that looks inviting. Do, 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 do. Green hand tutorial. I suppose it would be nice if I got a green hand. Oh. oh. They're melting all those plastic balls. And now for fire downwards? Ah, it's broken. There you go. I got you, fam. I think it's water. Yeah, probably is water rather than fire. <laughs> okay, so now we have some hands. Can I have one? Oh, there they go. Why do they have creepy giant holes in them? It feels very body horror coded. No paint and machine. Oh no. Huh. 
Okay, they're very generous about telling me where to go. <laughs> the O face. Is that the O face for you? Hey, what's moving now? Hello, creepy noises? What the? Okay, I'm just going to get moving. I don't know what's happening, but I don't like it. You where the paint goes. Here you go, buddy. I'm going to go in. I wish to become a hand. Oh. At least I got a trophy. But I can't become a hand. Now for the final part. Looks like a microchip or something. Green hand! Okay, now I just need to find the green VHS player to tell me how to use this thing. I figured it out. I didn't figure it out. <laughs> okay, so I could latch onto that. No paint and machine. Oh, right. There's the VHS player. <laughs> Ooh, I'm supercharged. I figured it out. <laughs> Green hand. Shoot green power outlet. Uh, yuck. No temporary hold on electricity. Electrical charge lasts for 10 seconds. Boom. After 10 seconds, the charge runs out. Yep, there it goes. When holding electricity, shoot green hand receivers. Or to temporarily power other systems. This is actually sick. I want one of these in real life. They're on the same timer. Lack of caution. Oh. oh, I want to die that way. That sounds fun. Lack of caution may result in injury. Thank you. Okay, do it. Fuck me up, fam. I see the end coming. That's bullshit. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm stuck in the door. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> well, it didn't doesn't kill you. It's a lie. It just decides whether you're on the inside or the outside. <laughs> Stuck in the door. Pew, 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 pew. Like a never-ending bore. Pew, pew, pew. Ooh, gas. Now we're cooking with gas. And propane. We. Think green. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Employee recycling habits must not impede. Please, I'm co workflow. Yeah, if it takes you too long to recycle things, it's not worth it, guys. Just give up and go home. I'm so sure there'd be something creepy on the other side of that. I know when your birthday is. June 28th. <laughs> I like his eyes. He looks like a has been character. Now even the flower looks creepy to me. Everything here is creepy. That's the secret. That's a lot of dirty cameras. Or monitors, I guess. Welcome to Musical Memory. Oh, we're here. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. Uh-oh. It's not so good, I can tell you a that much. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern oh, correctly, shit. Bunzo will rise back up. Otherwise, he'll clap you to death. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, 
Your test is over. Yeah, he's gonna clap me to death. The test will become more <laughs> difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. Yeah. That's all. Good luck. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna die a bunch of times anyway, but just to see the death, let's fuck this up real quickly. I want to see how bad this oh, is. Isn't it amazing? Death is. Mommy hasn't seen the place I've been running in years. You don't have a mommy voice. I can only imagine how excited Bonzo must be. Stop calling yourself it's mommy. Such a long time since oh, hey, Bonzo. Able to play. Um. To cheer. Um. Okay. Dinner. Dinner time. Red. 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 Blue. Blue. Red. Blue. Red, blue, 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 red, blue. Red, blue. <laughs> That's a good one. I thought it was just gonna, I thought it was gonna dangle either side of you and then clap you to death. But no, he just goes straight from the top. <laughs> it's not time to die. Get up. <laughs> Pretty good death. I like that one. Speed running death. Let's go. Hell yeah. Okay. Yellow. 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 Green. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Green. Green. Yellow. Green. Green. Yellow. Green. 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 Yellow. Green. 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 Yellow. Green. Green. Green, red, yellow, green, 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 red. Round two. Uh oh. Blue. Blue. Blue, green. Blue, green. Blue, green, yellow. Blue, green, yellow. Blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, green, yellow, red, yellow. Blue, green, yellow, red, yellow. Blue, green, yellow, red, yellow, violet. Blue, green, yellow, red, green, violet. Blue, green, yellow, red, yellow, violet. Blue, green, yellow, red, yellow. Violet would be blue and green. Uh oh. Blue, green, yellow, red, yellow, violet. Blue, green, yellow, red, yellow, violet! Violet! Okay. There was Round another three. button. <laughs> That's cheating. Yellow. Yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow orange. Yellow, yellow, orange. Yellow, yellow, orange. White. Yellow, yellow, orange. White. Yellow, yellow, orange, white, white. Yellow, yellow, orange, white, white. Yellow, yellow, orange, white, white, yellow. Yellow, yellow, orange, white, white, yellow. Round four. Oh god, how many rounds? Blue. Blue. Blue J. Blue J? J is orange, I guess. No? Uh, blue? J. What the fuck? Okay. Blue J orange? Hot? Blue J hot. Blue J hot. Um, blue J hot hot. Pie? Blue Jay. Hot, hot, pie. Blue Jay, heart, heart, pie. Violet. Okay. 
Blue, J, pot, pot, pie, violet. Red, violet, blue, rabbit, and then the orange, gay, well, the red, violet, pie, massive, smile, gay, well, smile, gay, work, and red, massacre. Yeah, emergency, bitch. Oh, it broke. Yeah, I won. For doing such a splendid job, Mommy has decided to give you part of the code for the train. One third of it, perchance? Take it. And now you're getting kind of sexy, but still. Take it where? Oh, oh. Thank you, Mommy. Train code Mommy one out of was three. Hoping the game could last a little longer. It's okay though. Mommy knows other ways to play with you. <laughs> Should have had a more mature voice, but yeah, I kind of I like the way she speaks. <laughs> oh God! Well, down to the ground floor I go. Don't threaten me with a good time. Exactly. Mommy thinks I'm afraid of her playing with me. This is Fuchan's playtime. Fuchan's having a fun time now. Wee. 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 True mommy vibes. Only in the things she says, though. Only in the things she says. <laughs> uh, are we going to get chased through here again? Fence are a great place to make you feel terrified. No? A lot of suspense for nothing. My legs are about to collapse. And yo. Goodbye. Sounded like the ghost in Harry Potter, though. Exactly. It's too much of a youthful voice. Moaning Myrtle. Oh, that's a lot of toys. Wee. I guess not that way. <laughs> yep. Wanna hear a dino joke? Click once for the question. Click again for the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me a dino joke. What do you call a dino with one eye? Um, Cyclops. Cyclops saw a blind of uh, half a half a saw a, 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 a dinosaur with one eye. Um. A dinosaur. Dinosaur only has one eye. Uh, do you think he saw us? <laughs> That's terrible, and you should feel bad. That's not even a good pun. What do you call a dinosaur who's a noisy sleeper? Um, <gasps> a Tyrannosaurus Rex. A Tyrannosaurus. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what do you call the scariest dinosaur? Um, scariest dinosaur? The Scarosaurus? The terrified terror Pterodactyl. Me. Oh. Bronze the scariest dinosaur. <laughs> That's kind of fucking awesome, actually. Shit, I wasn't seeing that coming. Wanna hear a dino joke? Nah, you're good. Click once for the question. Click again for the punchline. <laughs> Rejected item. Kick me poor. Reason for rejecting. Nobody likes him. <laughs> Laughed out of presentation meeting when revealing kick me poor. That's so mean. Is this kick me poor? He looks like a good boy. I'd kick the shit out of him. Look at his shit eating grin. Oh yeah, he's already got a step mark on him. So he has a fetish for being stepped on too. How about teabagging? <laughs> um, for people that are dropping a lot of emotes right now, please be aware. The moderators have already said it a couple of times. Um, only three emotes per message. Otherwise, you will get timed out for it. So be careful. Reject. And this is where the broken toys go, huh? Rejected item. Daisy, marionette. That looked evil before you even did anything to it. 
Reason for rejecting too scary for young children. Children in test audience cry during Daisy's performance. Yeah, they're a creepy little bitch. Reject. Recall. Hey, Braun. You don't look so scary. You look adorable. Cat bee. It is a cat bee. We were right. I want one. That's actually an adorable mascot. Cat bee. Daisy sniffed too many daisies by the looks of it. D D Daisy's an interesting character. Let's hope we never have to deal. Hey, it's me! Damaged. Damaged goods. Do I turn my flashlight on? Because we definitely had one while we were in a dark area earlier, but now it's just not happening. Ba -da -boom, ba -da -boom. Nobody's perfect. Be yourself. No, you should have made a pun about Buzz if you're going to make a pun about purr. Can I climb you, my friend? No, that makes me a sad Fuchan. Power! Incinerate, kick me, Paul. <laughs> Launch with Avery on Friday. Poor kick me, Paul. He didn't do nothing to nobody. Call retail stores to return SPA shipments. Interesting. What are you? Sir poops a lot. How the fuck? How do I try you? Do it. Flush it. How did you get allowed, but fucking kick me poor didn't? This is BS. Rejected item, reason for rejection. They're just playing fucking tic-tac-toe. No smoking in warehouse. I get it. It was a rose in me pun. No, but... I what? See, this is why they should have subtitles. That voice is so high-pitched, I can barely understand it. <laughs> Aren't you glad we're best friends? Hey, bud, how's it growing? Yo, bud, how's it growing? It is Rosa me. I knew it. Satan. I'm for you. What was the Get second it? one? Root? No, bud. You grow, bud. Orange? You, you're not even an orange, though. I mean, your your face is orange, I guess. Hey, bud, how's it growing? Yeah, buds, how's it growing? It's just straight up Rosa me. <laughs> Maybe I have to electrocute it. Nope. What do I need? Oh. Weight capacity reached. Get off there, Bron. How dare you, Bron? Get the fuck out of my way. Maybe I need to electrocute his ass. Nope, guess not. Eh! Why are you so big? Okay, there's gotta be something else I need. I need a green cassette tape. Electrocute Rosemi? That just seems mean. doesn't do anything. <laughs> we. Interesting. Hey, it's Creepy Girl. It's Mommy. Yeah, let's go find the light blue cassette player. There's got to be one somewhere around here. We. Hmm. Is that a trophy? It looks like a trophy. But how to get up there? Wow, interesting. Perhaps I need to climb up there. Why is everything shaking? What the fuck? Rejected item, orange robot toy. Reason for rejecting. After considering both options, management has decided to go with Mommy Long Legs as Playtime Co's stretch toy concept. Oh, poor orange robot boy thing. 
The box is dummy thick. Yeah, you can't pull it down. Too heavy for that. Hmm. That's where I came from. Rejected item. Sir poops a lot. Oh, you did get rejected. Extremely negative reception from various focus groups. Whoever's idea this was should feel ashamed. <laughs> I mean, they had actual toys like that, to be fair. They had like a little girl baby pooper. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's like so hard to lot versions of the monkey toys. Rejected item, retail shipment number 018345. The entire batch of toys is miscolored due to par Paddy Hall sabotaging the painting machine. Saboteur has since been dealt with. Dealt with? <laughs> Worrying. Rejected item, barrel of huggies. Reason for directing, choking hazard. Children tried to eat from the barrel thinking it was candy. They do look like candy. I'd eat the shit out of those. Honestly, that's evolution at work. That's how survival of the fittest begins. People accidentally eating things they should not eat. Do, 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 do. Can I climb up this? I can. Ooh. Now I have access to a whole new world. A whole new world. Ah, oh, God. Can I jump is the next question. Yeet! Yep, okay. If I just get to the next one, I can get to the golden trophy. Don't know why I want the golden trophies, but damn it, they're there and I need them. Yeet! No, fuck. Okay, maybe not. Um... Do, 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 do. Bubbity boop. Bubbity. Damn it. Yeah. Interesting. Yay! Okay. Flower. Collectibles are life. Damn straight. They're the most important thing in this game. I can't get it from here. There's got to be a better place to jump from. How high can we go? Pretty high. Yeet! God damn it. What the fuck? Yeeting myself, but it's not working. Wait. Oh. <laughs> the VHS was there that whole fucking time, too. Um. <laughs> well... That's a Fu-Chan moment if I've ever seen one. Okay, maybe I can just make the jump normally. Just have to believe. Believe in myself and throw myself. Yeet! Fuck, I just fell. I didn't even yeet. Well, we'll try that again in a minute. Let's go watch this tape. Break free, Fu-Chan. I'm trying. Well, Sir poops a lot. After years of being ignored, company actually heard all my complaints. Yep, they listened to them very carefully. I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. Because the next day I got demoted down here to the freaking island of misfit toys! Is he in character or is he just complaining about his job? That wasn't useful. <laughs> okay, so whoever got sent here isn't happy incinerate kick me pull blah 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 boop and what the fuck do I need to electrocute there's got to be a receptacle somewhere else I've just got to find it there's got to be one somewhere where would it be hiding definitely needs therapy yeah he does oh it's up there okay grabby hand You give me your power. I extend as far as I can. Shit, that's as far... Wait, am I stuck? Wait! Let me out! Oh, I can crawl under. Yeet! Get me my trophy. Okay, so I just press the button and then it does the thing. Comfy grabber, yeah! We got the comfy grabber in game now. 
That sounds rusty. Yeah, it's doing its best though. Get me my trophy. Aw, hell yeah. Oh shit, I need to move it out of the way of the box. There we go. Give to me. Yay! I got Bunzo. Okay, where do we actually want something from? I mean... I guess all the way over there, maybe? I don't know. I don't know where I'm sending you next, buddy. I'm not seeing anything interesting to grab just yet. We Reminds me of the bunny in Sam and Max. He does, actually. He's a very similar look to him. Did I go backwards? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, to grab the dinosaur. Right. There was a reason for this existing. Grab him, boy. Okay, my work here is done. Goodbye, Bron. May we never meet again. I'm free. Somebody, Futan, we figured one out. Not every puzzle is too hard for me, just most of them. I heard that. Who took a big footstep? <laughs> Somebody's taking big footsteps. Ron, are you, buddy? I don't know where you're hiding. Oh, we out of power. Oh. Oh. Um. I see. <laughs> Damn it! Maybe I don't interact with that. Why does that not do anything? Normally that like charges something. Do I just have to go up there? Maybe I do. <laughs> oh, there's another... God damn it. I see. Interesting. All sound died and I don't like it. Okay, so there's another one up there. I need to get up there, but then also... How do I do this? Can I start from number two? No, of course not. That would be too easy. Hmm. To grab this one, I need to wrap around that one, but I also need to be able to get back down. How does one get back down? Let me down. Let me down. Let me down. I don't want to be up there anymore. Um, this is how you do it. <laughs> Idiot Fuchan. There we go. Puzzle is puzzling. Yeah. They got me with that one for a minute. <laughs> Never gonna let Boo down. Never gonna give Boo up. 
Never gonna let food down. Never gonna turn around and hurt food. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna wonder why. I got those mixed up. What was locked behind this door? Spider webs. I knew she was a spider lady. Good old Miss Mommy. So she can make webs. That makes her like 60% hotter. I've completed game number one. Now give me game number two. Is this going to be statues? You know, guess spooked easily. <laughs> nah. Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's spooked occasionally, but not often. Story. Our next game is Wacko Wuggy. Aw, mommy's proud of me. And have fun. Wacko Wuggy. Okay. Open says me. It's a wooden Alfutan. No, because she's not actually a spider lady. She's still a creepy looking lady. <laughs> So you're Wuggy, huh? Oh, wait, no. I thought it was Huggy Wuggy. Oh, are you guys just all Wuggies? Grow happy, healthy kids! In your basement. That's what these people have definitely been doing. Some sort of fucked up experiment. Everyone must do their part. Any child between the ages of two months and 16 years is eligible for entry into the Playtime Co. Foster and Adoptive Care Initiative. That's not good. Why are you, Why does this toy company have a fostering initiative? What are they doing to the children? Grab back storage. Ooh, can I get an extra one? Come on, I want like four. I want like eight arms. All the different keys. Back a wuggy. Oh, there's too many of these critters. Oh, no. <laughs> They're going to come out of the fucking walls, man. Oh, God, okay. Where are you, mommy? Come on, mommy. I know you're up there. Eh. Point Welcome on. to Wacko Wuggy. Yay! This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. <laughs> That's not good for me either. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. My one's green. Around you are 18 sizable holes. Don't An adorable say it that way. Toy could appear out of any one of these holes. Uh huh. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. Where's my mommy? I don't want to play the game if I don't get insulted by mommy at the same time. What's the fucking point? The toys in this game there we go. have strings attached to them. So they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Not anymore. Hmm. Have fun. Thank you, mommy. Okay. Um. Sounds like that way, but do I trust the sounds? Now it sounds like multiple. There's one. Back. Not really enough light to see when they're coming. Um. Hey guys. One hell of a fun time we're having here, isn't it? No. Back. Well, okay. <laughs> Mommy, I don't have good eyes. I'm old. Can you? Don't let them near you. Don't let them near you. Get up. Oh, watch this part of the spinning. Yeah. If the motion... Well, it's not... I'll turn the motion blur off. But yeah, if it's messing with you. Don't worry. Just just look, ignore the screen for a little while. So they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. I'm going to cheat. Where's my brightness? <laughs> yeah, boy. We're just going to... Ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> Let's go light mode, baby. That's too bright. That actually hurts my eyes. Ow. There we go. Hmm. Have fun. 
fun. Now I'll see them coming. Nope, still kind of weird. Should be easier to see though, I hope. God, I hear them, but I can't see them. Back you! Back, foul beast! Not today, Satan! The power of a video compels you! Be gone. Nope. Bad. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Nope. Bad. Sit. Bad. No. Uh -uh. Bad touch. Did not consent. No, bad, bad, bad. Also bad. Even more bad. All of the bad. Oh, God. Okay. Well, <laughs> there are so many towards the end there. <laughs> he is loose. This is an emergency lockdown. Sounds like he's everywhere. He pretty much was everywhere at the end there. They were coming out of like eight places at once. I see you. So they could be pulled back when they got too close to I the have no children. strings to hold me back. Hmm. Have fun. I always do, mommy. Okay, come at me. Oh, she likes watching. That's fun. Get bonked. Get bonked. Where, where are they? I hear them, but I... I don't see them. Uh, one of these ones. But I don't know which one. Oh, God. They're everywhere. Coming out of the walls, man. Coming out of the freaking walls. Hello? <gasps> there. Back, foul beast. Get out of here. Who you think you is? Nope. Nope. Uh uh. Nope. No, no, no. None of that. I don't like them. Why don't they have strings? Strings would make this much easier. Probably much more entertaining, too. Strings are fun. Strings are one of the best inventions humanity's ever done. No! Uh-uh. Nope. No! No, thank you. God, it's like I live in a gated community and the Mormons are here. The Mormons are here! The Mormons are everywhere! I've heard about your book! I've seen the stage show! I don't want- Oh, Jesus Christ! No, 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 no. Fucking Mormons. You did it. Yeah, thank you. High five? Hey, Yay! So proud of you. Thank you, Mommy. Mommy has another hint for you. Okay, but give me a second. I, I hate this brightness setting. <laughs> ah, thank God. High five. Where, where is it, Mommy? Oh, Mommy? Bet you had another... Oh, there we go. What long arms you have. <laughs> thank you. Why doesn't she want to hold hands with me? Game left to play. Stay here forever. Though no. it's never too late to change your mind. 
I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I don't like her Spider-Man thing where she can just cling to things. Okay. Wonder if she's true to her word. I mean, she already lied about giving me shit immediately. I don't like the fact that... Okay. I don't like the fact that at some point, clearly a kid came in here and lost their hand pack thing. Stop touching mommy. I just want to hold her hand, man. There's nothing weird about it. She's a mommy. She's supposed to comfort me. That's what I'm saying, man. Got to be a certain way to be a mommy character. Can't be having no. He. Okay, that didn't work. Can't be having no non-comforting characters as mommies. How do I do this? I mean... I got the trophy. Kissy Missy! Oh, I got it the wrong way around. It's Kissy Missy. Not Missy Kissy. Did I just maybe go the wrong way or something? <laughs> maybe. Nope. I must just be blind. Love how Fu went from ill mommy to hold my hand mommy. I mean, she's still not sexy. Although some of the things she's saying are the right kind of things to be saying. But, yeah, I'd hold her hand. He no, seriously, what the fuck do I? I was hoping it would be like one of those swinging bits or one of the like climbing bits, but no. Food blind, do I just walk on this? Oh. <laughs> Well, that would have made it so much easier. Wee! Swingy, 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 woo! That's a cool mechanic, actually. <laughs> we finally get to hear what cat, cat, candy cat likes. Sounds, sounds like even. Press the button to feed me candy. Uh, uh okay. Nom, nom, nom. More. What do I get out of this? Nom, 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 nom. More, more candy. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> okay, no more candy. No, you I keep eating. Full. I'm not done with you. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah. Shed, no more. Yeah, you don't get a choice, bitch. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> One more to blow up. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> the button to feed me candy. You got a better idea. Hi. Enjoy your candy in hell. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no more candy for you. <laughs> what did you do? I ended Candy Cat. Or maybe I pissed off Candy Cat. <laughs> Either one is possible. We're fine. Everything, everything's great. I'm having a having a wonderful time. Mommy's playing games with me. Candy Cat got blown up by his own love of candy. Power the future. Exercise caution when working with electricity. Well then why would you make it this much fun? Am I supposed to exercise caution when this is so fun? Someone needs to make a mini animation of Fuchan in this game. Why? I'm just, I'm playing it normally. This is me taking the game very... Ah, uh, hey, Huggy Wuggy. How you doing, buddy? It's been a while. You're going to open this gate for me? You're not Huggy Wuggy. You're Kissy Missy. Missy Kissy? Hmm? Oh, you gotta press the button for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. No, no, try again. There you go. Yay! Do I get a kissy? Come on, give me a kissy. Mm. Hey! The fuck are you going? Hey! I am an attractive prospect. How fucking dare you? Get back here. Bruh. Even a character literally called Kissy Missy won't kiss me. I hate this game. 
This game hates me. Ah, I see. But why? Didn't that just lead me in a circle? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I'm the crazy one. What I do know is there was definitely an air vent to go in there. Oh, Missy Kissy. What up, Aya? I love socially distanced electron side vibes. Yeah, I wish I had this thing in real life. This would be so much fun. Okay, I don't like that currently it feels like that air vent is there for no reason. That screams to me that I'm going to need to run and dash and hide and loop around places to not get eaten by monsters later. And that's just not something I wanted to feel in my life. There's another air vent. That's fantastic. Oh, shit. I need to get the charge back. Fuck. There we go. Come on over here, Barry. But first... Let's find out what this is. But yo, I, I, I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I've never played this game before, so this is all kind of crazy to me. Kind of looks like Jacksepticeye. Mind if I film this? Oh, not at all, sir. <laughs> it is Jack... Like oh. <laughs> so, Marcus, what happened? You see, I was heading home for the day when my Aparis realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. Oh, he's even more so Irish than I usual. The lobby, I left me bloody I wallet. <laughs> a mob handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. A love handle? Oh, so no. You do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yorker beyond me merry way. <laughs> Dab the merry block. <laughs> well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mob handle jolts on its own. Oh, no. I was scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Dothering about Thank the hallway? You. You're sure it wasn't a person? It's no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing. A thousand legs? Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Creepy millipede no, it creature? it wasn't people, all right? I haven't a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Oh, they're going to kill you, Jack. Just Run! You, obviously. Yeah, you're fucked. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're on a line, Marcus. Skimming ain't gonna we get rid toys, of it! Not monsters! Now come on, get out of my sight. <laughs> Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will ya? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. <laughs> get wrecked, Marcus. Also, March 21st, 1991. That was yesterday, but then also 33 years ago. Interesting that we're just that close to the date. Jack said that the devs wanted to give Marcus a strong Irish accent. He already has a strong Irish accent. <laughs> That's the thing. Like they made it like even stronger, and it feels to me like he definitely had like a higher, uh, like a higher tone during that as well. Like normally he kind of talks a bit like this. It's definitely a strong Irish accent, but it's not that fucking crazy, and it's definitely not that high pitched most of the time. Okay, I need to go get that green one over to here somehow. We Definitely exaggerated it. Oh, yeah. Sounds good, though. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just a surprise. Being like, hey, that guy kind of looks like Jacksepticeye. And then being like, oh, it fuck, it is Jacksepticeye. But the Irish is up to 100 and the low voice, oh, well, the high-pitched voice is up to like a 10,000 as well. This stayed open. I know there was another air vent I could go through. Where was that? Where am I? Who am I? What year is it? <laughs> they said more Irish? Hell yeah, they did. That's right. Oh, this is where I came in from. Okay. Jack had fun for real. That's all that matters. It's awesome that you got to be part of the game as well. I love how they brought Jack in to be part of the game. <laughs> and it was Mark whose birthday they gave. Yeah, maybe this one. Maybe I can just run it far enough 
Where do I need to get to? I need to get all the way down here. Why is the music getting creepy? Did I do something wrong? Oh, I need to get both of these somehow. Shit! Okay, okay. Fucked that up, but I can do it. BGM stressing me out, yeah. Especially how it came out of fucking nowhere, too. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Barry. Time to continue down our cart corridors. Maybe, maybe you stay here. Get out of Barry. Barry. I'm inside Barry. Um, what the fuck just happened? Um. Uh, um. Barry got inside me. And now I'm inside Barry and now I'm fucked. Uh, let's load the game real quick. Yes. Please don't be at the start of this ridiculousness. It's at the start of this ridiculousness. <laughs> okay, this is, this is fine. I can do this all over again. Because the game glitched and... Wait, the door's closed. I thought the door wasn't supposed to be... Wait, am I... Is it broken? Oh, no. What's his name opens the first one? Kissy Missy. I was right at the end, too. And then fucking Barry. <laughs> Had to ruin everything for me. Hey, Kissy Missy. Hey. We doing head tilts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open that for me. Oh, come on. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Hey, wait. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. No, I'm friend. I'm friend. Let me come with you. Please. Please. I'm coming. You can't get away from me. Damn it. It's too fast. We get to listen to Jack again. I mean, technically, we don't need to. <laughs> it's just about the fact that there was some evil shit going on. Just have to open up all these stupid doors again. Where does this lead to? Oh, that's where I want to get to. Wee, wee. Be careful of Barry again. Yeah, I know his secrets this time. He pretends he just wants a hug like Mr. Huggy Wuggy, but really, he's trying to fuck with you. Okay. Door number one done. Okay, next green electric thingy. Where do I get it from? From back through here, right? Yeah. Speed run time? Yeah, but you know how I am at speed running. Which is not very good. Wee! There you go, bud. You do your thing, Jack. I'm going to do other things. Like the BGM here, so creepy. Yeah, it's interesting how it just randomly decides to take itself out as well. Oh, not at all, sir. Come on, Barry. Quickly, Barry, it's gonna close. Barry, no! Oh, I'm kidding, you're okay, Barry. Okay, let's not get in the way of it this time. You. Crash through that shit for me. I believe in you, Barry. I fuck up again. Do I have to be in front of it? But in front of it was how it went bad lot. Oh, okay, there we go. Good job, Barry. Proud of that guy. More proud of him than mommy ever has been in me. Ah. 
now what do we do? What kind of fun games do we have next? I'm gonna think of it. We haven't even played the third game yet. Why is she making this so hard on me? Could have just let me go back the way I came from. Yeah, we did whack a wuggy. Oh, it opens this time. Oh no, that always opened. Ignore me. <laughs> Rip Barry to barrel. I, uh, he was more of like a train car. But it's fine. I'm sure he lived a good life. Wait, do I even need another one? Wait. <laughs> Why did I never do this before? Can I just leave? No, okay. Three and four are active because I completed those games. Oh, there's going to be a secret fourth game. She's lying to me. <laughs> okay. Let's do door number three. Have you played these before? You're so good. Statues. Seems like you're ready for the final game. Statues. Yeah. Oh, mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. Mommy's See you next time. been dropping her blue everywhere. Mommy's definitely got to, like, web me up when we have to do a boss fight against her. We're so close to the end. We can't be close to the end already. It's only been two and a half hours. The fuck? Um. I pull it up? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Do I need both hands? I am so confused. Do I climb up there? No. So it's not left. It must be right then. Maybe the angle? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, maybe I need to get above it here. No, it only moves one way. Maybe I need to wrap it around something. Hi. Like this. Nope. Maybe the opposite way. We. If you want, you can continue chapter three. I mean, if we finish this early, then yeah. But I doubt we're actually that close to finishing. I am all of the confusion. Okay, there's got to be something I have to join you to. Maybe the green thing? Oh, you just can't grab it. Huh. It's definitely not a button. What the fuck am I doing wrong? It looks like it should be slammed down to the left, so... This way. Is it glitched? I hope not. I think there's some sort of secret I have to figure out. <laughs> Mommy sounds bigger than when we last saw her. Oh, okay. It is this way. You just had to double hand it. Okay. Mommy? Mommy's totally going to come out of the ceiling later. That's her, sp her spider home. I wonder if she lays eggs. Spider eggs are always... Oh, this is the beast with a thousand legs and 50 feet long. Okay. What does statues mean? Is it going to be like a red light, green light, Daruma-san ga Koranda kind of game? Daruma-san ga Koranda. I heard that. <laughs> Whoever's out there, I heard you. <laughs> oh no. Or always what foo? Always, huh? Fun. Spider eggs are always fun. Hungry to learn? Playtime Co. harbors a state-of-the-art educational program for all orphan children affiliated with Playtime Co. I'm sorry, how do orphans become affiliated with Playtime Co? 
uh, is this the signing up foster program or do they work for you or do you just own them kind of creepy dude oh let's hear what the cat yeah this caterpillar is already fucking horrific with that face let's hear what he sounds like you do want to play with pj yes i do want to play with pj caterpillar or pug what caterpillar or pug caterpillar or pug I'm crawling on all 400. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cute. I'm crawling on all 400. Mm, I'm hungry for some delicious bones. Oh. Do you have some bones for PJ? I do not have a bone for PJ. I don't even have a bone for mommy, which is probably surprising a lot of people in chat right now. <laughs> I can't do that noise. Damn it. I can't do the Scooby Doo dog voice. Yeah, we don't have to see him anymore. We're free, chat. We're free. <laughs> oh. Whee! oh, shit. Oh. I see. I have to. Interesting. Okay, that isn't electrifying it. What number is- wait, what? <laughs> Why are you not letting me hold on? That's number one. Okay, so... Need to grab that one in mid-air. <laughs> Yay! Shit! What does this even do? I don't, do I need that lid up to grab it? Oh, I do. Okay, 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 okay. So, brain. I need to grab the left one with my left hand. Go down, electric the right one. Yeah, okay, okay, I've got it. Um. Bar and bar. Oh, come on, let me grab it. I'm here. There we go. What'd that do for me? It made a sound. I hear 400 legs. He's down on all 400s. He's in the walls, man. He's in the freaking walls. Mr. PJ? Uh-oh. I don't like the look of this. <laughs> Welcome to Statues. Okay. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. Not good at that either. This has been a lot of the fun tests for me. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. Mm -hmm. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. While it's dark, okay. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. Oh, it is red light, green you light. You may move again once the lights turn back off. Let me get as far forward as the I can. The lovable PJ Pugga <gasps> PJ! will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. I see you, PJ. That's all. Good luck. Um, hey. Yep, good luck. Uh, hey, PJ. What, lights go off? Is so they sad. Mommy to die alone. That's not their you fault. Didn't deserve that. Oh no. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone, it's you. Rude. Got a job, man. I had to earn my paycheck. Lights are off. Uh-oh. 
They did not give you much time. <laughs> What happens if I move while the lights are on? Nothing. Wait, but nothing happens when I move with the lights on. Oh! Okay, that one got me. That's our first real scare. <laughs> so yes, you shouldn't move while the lights are on. The prototype has saved us. Isn't he wonderful? Am I the prototype? Maybe I'm the first, like, reborn human kind of thing. Don't do the long talk, you get good. Right. Okay. We stay still. We go. Stop. Go. So I'm gonna guess I have to wait for this to be, like... I mean, I'm going to go for hard. Ah! Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Why do his feet sound so wet? Because he's a creepy guy. He's probably been crawling around in blood for a long time. Oh, he is right behind me. I'm fucked. I should have gone for easy. I made a mistake. A mistake was made. But there's a trophy. I do deserve a trophy. Bum, 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 bum. He's right on my ass, my ass, my ass. How the fuck did he get me? What the shit? That's bullshit. Don't let them near you. Get up. He, what? I swear to God he got me through the wall. Okay, we're just going to do easy mode. <laughs> Guess he was closer than we thought. But I mean, it was while I was allowed to move, so I just assumed I'd be going faster than him. And stop. He ate your ass, apparently? Yeah, I guess so. I'm just that attractive to big old monsters. Whether they're dog caterpillars or mommies. this okay i guess this is okay ah! it wasn't okay <laughs> it wasn't okay <laughs> just moving around in the ceiling apparently gets you killed he's close this is an emergency lockdown that was bullshit man so what i should just walk through the stupid box instead uh Whee. wasn't moving. Gravity was moving me. There's a difference. No way. This is actually easy. This is going to fuck with me somehow. Do, 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 do. Na, 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 na. I can't even see the lights. How do I know I'm not allowed to move? That's my question. Oh, he sounds like he's right behind me. Which he shouldn't be. Oh, fuck. It's blocks. Ah! 
He really is right behind me. I can't see the next step. Where's my next step? That one. That one. Okay, left and then right. No, 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 no. Bad boy. Bad, you bad puppy pillar. Okay, we got some distance. No, 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 no. Cease this. Cease this. I want to go see mommy. I want to go see mommy. Do I just go down the hole? I guess so. I broke your silly game. Oh. I don't believe her. I don't think she's telling truths. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Except there was no way out of there, Mommy. So you were trying to kill me, Mommy. <laughs> nice game. Mommy, long legs in family. Oh, there's a daddy as well. Uh, how dare you disobey me? I will find you. I will find you. And when I do... <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Hey, now she's getting sexier. It's a shame she's got such an unsexy design. Why am I going diagonal? Wee! Vertical movements. Awesome. Oh, this place is just falling to pieces. That's why I'm going horizontalish. Hang in there. <laughs> playtime code does not permit hanging on factory equipment. <laughs> I love playtime code. VA is putting on work. Yeah, they're doing a good, like, yandere kind of feeling. Red one. Blue one. And find space. Permit required. Do not enter. But what if I did, though? Okay, you guys saw that shit too, right? Was it trying to load in something so it wouldn't let me go forward? What the fuck? <laughs> mommy knows best. Always remember to obey company policies. Even if mommy tells you not to. Can't go through there, so I guess we're going up. Whee! Swing. Authorized personnel only. That's me. I used to work here. Aw, oh, can't do shit. Portion condemned. Well, that did nothing. Hope it doesn't crash. So far, so good. So far, so good. You're coming with me. Letters are useful. Okay, we need a green cassette tape. VHS. Rotate top 90 degrees or rotate bottom 90 degrees? Okay, so am I rotating the goddess or archivist? What are these? Boop, boop, boop. Oh god, it's so... Oh, they're much better. Transfer request. Experiment 1222. Mommy long legs. Subject. Marie Payne. Abilities. Mummy Longlegs has the unique ability to stretch any of her limbs for several hundred feet. This includes her fingers, arms, hair, neck, waist, and legs. She's very hostile towards the staff, but is very motherly and acts warmly towards other experiments. She's protective of them. Of course she is. They're her family, and she's the mommy. Problem. The hostility is quickly becoming problematic. But perhaps there's a solution to put her in her place. Proposal. Mommy Longlegs would be perfect for facilitating everything with the children in the game station. She has the warmth that a mother should, and any rowdy child can learn to listen to their mother. It makes sense that her seeing these children daily would improve her behavior, and it's very unlikely she will act out in front of the children. Have her transferred to high security maintenance immediately. Conditioning can begin. I'm sorry, why? 
it. They said, yo, she's attacking our staff members. So let's instead have her look after the children. The orphans that we've brought into this building. Surely she won't hurt the children. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. I mean, merry motherly and warmly towards the other experiments. So does that just, oh, do they mean that like the orphans are the experiments as well? Okay, um, what's the top and what's the bottom? Ah, the top is the red one. I see. Well, I think I have need to get uh, need to get back to the game station, so. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Okay, so if I rotate the top 90 degrees, it just does the top. But if I rotate the bottom 90 degrees, it also does 45 degrees on the top. Interesting. So I need to get it to go from this way to that way, probably. Hmm. Shit, so close. Aww. I'll go 90 degrees, that'll go 45 degrees. Shit. Still off. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean honestly, I should be able to jump onto it from there. Keep our company secure. Secrets are a promise. Playtime Co. Employees who violate NDA policies will face immediate termination. Yeah, that's how an NDA works. Weep. It's not going to let me just jump onto it here, is it? Nah. <laughs> that's a shame. I damn it. That should be able to happen. <laughs> Fuck it. I have to math it out. I have to geometry and physics and fucking quadratic equation this bitch. I never even found the green cassette. Where's the green cassette? Was it hidden in the ladder again? Last time I missed the one hidden in the ladder. There is no green cassette. Green cassette is a lie. Okay, let's try this again. Oop, I do. Wait, can I? No, you can't edit that. Okay, 90 degrees and 45 degrees. I need them on opposite lengths of each other, so. Keep doing it. I can make that jump. I can totally make that jump. Game, if you don't let me make that jump, that's on you. I can 100% make this jump to any direction. Oh, I need a toy to get in here. Nobody leaves without a toy. <laughs> well, shit. I can make this jump. Yeah! Okay, or you can invisible wall me. I could have made that jump. That's actual bullshit. You can take it. I can take a lot. Get up. <sighs> I just wanted to sleep, but I guess. Maybe I'm supposed to go left first and then go right. Who knows? Okay, if I rotate this 90 degrees, they'll both be on the same level. Yes. And so if I do it two more times, I can go left. Perfect. Let us go left. Let us see what is left. Isn't your character a kid though? I They can't be a kid because I mean this place closed down a while ago and I apparently worked here. So I've been an adult for a while. Well, they're saying I work. Oh, it's just toys. Okay. They're saying I worked here, but who knows? Maybe I didn't work here. Maybe I was one of the experiment orphans, but I don't think I'm supposed to be a kid. <laughs> They're a cat bee. They don't understand their existence, and neither do I. To be or not to be. Terrible. That is the question. Terrible. Zero out of ten. You and I were meant to be. Two out of ten. That's at least adorable. Don't make me sting you. I'll do it. You don't even have a stinger. You have a tail. You need 
need to get out of here. <laughs> Just kidding! Go have fun! It doesn't sound fun to me. Meow, 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 fun! Let the shaking thing happen again. What is up with this game? Wait, do I want to go down? What about the red button? Now they're going left instead of right. Um. I've got a yellow button too. What would the yellow button do? They're going left. They get up there. Then they fall before they re... What about the blue button? Okay, now they're going left. Now they're falling to their death. I need to somehow hit red. But I can't reach red. Oh no. Well, you guys are fucked. What about this red? No, that changes that too early. Then he goes this way, which does nothing for me. Yeah, okay, fuck it. So we'll send them up there. Maybe we'll get up there sometime later and be able to fuck with this. Who knows? Oh, oh. Left to go down, right to go up. I'm an idiot. <laughs> if only there was a way to go up. Look, I didn't pay attention to the arrows. I just thought I had to pull them both at the same time. There we go. Doop -a -doop. Oh, now I have toys. Picked up Bunzo Bunny, ages three and up. Maybe I want another one. How about that? How about I get another one? Nope. Fuck. Come to me, toys. Come to me. Yeah, you double. I want the double. <laughs> Maybe I want three. How about that? Many? Oh, shit. Right. I just need one toy to get out of here. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Don't give me the clown thing. Some people just like having lots of toys. It's nice, man. It makes me feel good. Toys are fun. I'm going to make sure there was nothing hidden up there. Bum, ba, bum, 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 ba, dum. Bum, 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 bum. I got a Barry trophy. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Love to have toys too? Hell yeah. They're collectibles. They'll be worth something someday. Okay, now we have to go to the right. But remember, if you try to make that jump, it kills you even though you can make it. <laughs> You've only had your second anniversary. Are you even qualified? I will have you know I am 32, despite the anniversary being confusing. Okay. What do we want to do? Technically, this one doesn't move the bottom one, right? Yeah, perfect. So we just... Shit. No, that's not what we want to do. <laughs> Fuck. Um... I need to get the red one back to me again. I need to get the blue one to the right. So if I do the red one one more... Red one does a half turn, so I need to get the blue one to that thing. Huh. Basically, I need to make the blue one... Wait. Like this? And then... One more, and then two taps of the right one, I think? I should line it up. Yeah. C4. We're going to go boom. It's a Bonzo Bunny. This is an interesting lock system. Hey, Mr. Bonzo. How are you doing? Um. Why am I here? Creepy, dark, secluded, quiet, pain. 
Final Fantasy 7 reference? I mean, technically, it's just Final Fantasy. All the Final Fantasies use that victory jingle. Fanfare, or whatever you want to call it. Now, if only I had a red VHS. Oh, the music's getting creepy again. That's number two. Where's number one? This is actually very relaxing music, and I hate that. Why is there such relaxing music? Am I a real boy? Oh, you're a robot. The robot crossed the road. He was programmed to do it. That's not funny. Oh, it's... Out came the sunshine. Dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Creepy. I love you. I don't love you. Do you love me? No. Dance with me. Okay. Oh, the red in my soul. Watch I, watch I, watch I. The button hurts me. Oh, good. <laughs> What are you going to do about it? You're a robot. It's not my fault they programmed you to feel pain. Down you go. Nobody will ever have to deal with you again. Okay, so I need to get power over here somehow. Is so mean to it? I don't like robots. I don't trust robots. Robots are going to destroy us all someday. Ba -ba -ba There's my power! And a little wooden horse. Still no red VHS tape. Hmm. Oh, I need to charge that one. Whee! What are you, Mr. Creepy? <laughs> I don't like that one bit. Uh-oh. Come on, lift me higher. Did I soft lock myself? I swear to God. He Uh-oh. <laughs> Death. Death was the solution. <laughs> Says the person who's part robot. Yeah, exactly. I know more about them than you guys. I've dealt with the robots before. They're not great. Love, death, and robots. That's what happens when he doesn't love me. <laughs> How does that not count? I mean... I have to get it over there. There's no way I'm getting it all the way over there, though. I have to find a way to open the doors. But Wally? Wally sucks. Sorry, but Wally's boring. No, Wally's okay. <laughs> Baymax is awesome, though. Baymax is a top-tier robot. How the fuck do I open these? I've got red lights on them. Hmm. Red lights. Red, red lights. For the company. Red, red lights. Overload? Yes, please. Okay, maybe I need to go back the way I came from. Tried to defend a plant? When? Which plant? Oh, you mean Wally did? What the? Oh, it's just pitch black over here now. I guess I can't go back. <laughs> it's just pitch blackness now. Baymax cute? Yeah, Baymax saves everybody. Okay, so what the how do I 
Interesting. There's got to be some way to open these doors from over here. Remember, be safe while using your grab pack. Something to do with the electricity? B. Oh, fucking... I didn't even see these two things. Do anything for you. Oh. I see. Oh. Ah, uh, the game broke again. Um. 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 Free my hand. Give me back my hand. I'm gonna stay. Oh, all right, ten seconds. Oh, and now it closes these. Well, death approaches. Pull me up, damn it! Pull me up. Pull me up. Pull me up. <sighs> okay. <laughs> need a hand? I shouldn't need a hand, but it's being mean to me. Innovation is key. May we forget death. If only we were that powerful. We could innovate a way around life. It would certainly make things easier. Okay, so. Whee! We do this. When? Who? That opens that. And I pull it back. Charge myself. Run. Jump. Let myself go. Charge this. It also brings those down, is the problem. Maybe the green charge is all I need. Oh. No! Fuck! Okay, I did have a time limit. That was a very confusing moment. Okay, so it's going to open this, and then I just need to reconnect everything really quickly. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. You get stuck with all the bugs. I'm just playtesting, man. I'm just, I'm just teaching them a thing or two. One. Two. And I don't need that back, actually. I just need to do this. One, two, shadoo. Okay, something happened back that way. Ah, oh, it opened a big old door. Do, do, do. do you want us to tell you where a tape is right by you? <laughs> yes. Why, there was a tape right by me? Red tape, red tape. I didn't see no red tape. Huh? Red tape? Yes, please. Red tape? The past few tapes, yes. In the red box with the green handprint. Oh, oh. Red box, green handprint. In here? Oh, it is right. Th oh, fuck me. Can I even get that now? Oh, I can. Thank you. I did not notice that at all. Going. Thank you. Secrets. The following is a pre recorded announcement. To oh, I don't the like that long finger. Regarding an alleged. Very, very big spider crawling around in the facility. Oh, mommy, no. The Playtime Corporation wants me to remind you all that spiders that big do not exist. <laughs> I mean, they did, quote, pull the finger. Already be dead anyway. End quote. Wish I could. Regardless, you can all rest assured the company is sending some specialists <laughs> down here to have a look around and leave the constant whining. <laughs> 
<laughs> they do not believe the matter. Everyone's primary contribution in this company is just a spider. You are all safe. Please, please carry on with your jobs. <laughs> I love the line, and if a spider that big did exist, you would all be dead. <laughs> it's so true, but it's so silly. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa! Well, that is annoying. Guess we've got a new way to go. I bet I'm going to be chased by a spider, aren't I? Yep. Yeah. Hey, Mommy. I asked you to play fair. And you cheated! I didn't mean to cheat! Great cheaters! Now, we're going to play one last game! Okay, I'm kind of stuck here. It's called Hide and Seek! Uh, I can't play the game if you don't open the door. Nine. Okay. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One danger. Keep all parts of yourself and your grab pack away from any heavy machinery. Dismemberment may otherwise occur. I don't want to be dismembered. Tied up, maybe. Whipped, sure. No problems there. Dismembered, not so fun. Been there, done that. Had limbs removed. Can't believe you wouldn't smash that. She's so flexible. <laughs> I mean, she do be flexible. I will give you that. She could definitely do some fun things with those long, long limbs. But there just ain't much of a butt. <laughs> there just ain't much of a butt. There needs to be a butt, man. Run. I mean, I'm casually running. I am like... I am like cantering. I think is good enough. She called it hide and seek. She didn't call it like, um, tag your it. So I don't really have to run. I just need to find a good place to stay still. Are we so horny today? We're always horny when we play horror games. They normally have the best, the sexiest enemies. Ooh. No! My ward! This is bullshit. Put me back in, coach. This isn't going to be a real emergency exit, is it? Or it just doesn't work. That's also a possibility. Hey, I see. Nah, still wouldn't. It's better looking in 2D, though. Mommy knows best. Always remember to obey the company policies. Bum, ba, bum, ba, boop. Really thought she was going to be behind this door. Surprised how long she's let me get away with just running around noisily. Still wouldn't. Nah, not yet. Give it time. If she turns into an actual spider woman, then we'll talk. I'm going to guess there's an order for this. Red, yellow, blue, green, probably. Red. Yellow. Blue. Green. That apparently wasn't it. Okay, let's look at the wires. The wires don't tell me shit. Um. Oh, maybe we don't even do anything. Maybe it's all just distractions. Oh, okay. Two is blue. Three is green. One is red. So, red, blue, green, something. Red, blue, green. Red, blue, green, yellow. Nice! It's gonna be the third spider lady you encountered in horror games. Spider ladies are awesome. What can I tell you? They're always a win. Hey! Nope. Not the type of mooning I wanna hear, thank you. Can I? Nope. Uh oh. Upsy daisy. Well, she got me. <laughs> she heard what you said about spider ladies. Yeah, well, she still didn't turn into one. Maybe she should try harder. You get undayo? I tried to. I did try to, but she caught me. 
When does she web up this doorway? That's some bullshit. Okay, so I probably need to come back and then climb up and wait for her to run past me. Red gears. She caught you in a web. Yeah, but she's still not spider lady enough. Just because she has web properties doesn't mean she's enough of a spider lady for me. I have very strict... Wait, she didn't trigger this time. She let me through. Huh? Hey! No fair, I want to get chased. Where's my spider lady? Mommy! This is bullshit. How dare. Mommy says be careful around fire. <laughs> Not even a warning about that one. Now you wanna? You damn well right I wanna. She may not be the best spider lady, but she's my spider lady. I'm gonna have to set her on fire, aren't I? I think I'm gonna have to set her on fire. Does look like a good way to get rid of a spider lady. Now I just need the spider lady. What's up here? Mold slot. So I need a mold? What type of mold do I need? Maybe I should actually have read the thing before I threw the switch. <laughs> Maybe. Fire's always the answer. If you can burn something down, then yes, it is. Maintenance list. Ensure the machinery is clear of debris. Wipe machine surfaces of lubricant dirt and other loose debris. Check and replace worn or damaged parts. Check machinery fluid levels and check bouts. Main gear moved. Damage beyond repair. Please replace ASAP. So I need a main gear. Where would I get a main gear? Hmm. Main gear, main gear, main gear. Red arrows. Hmm. Interesting. Need a gear and I need a mold thing. Gear and mold, gear and mold. She never even like webbed this part up anymore. So I can just go back here all willy nilly. Explore as far as I want. The world is my oyster. Maybe this time she'll trigger. Maybe I was too close. It's flammable, it's killable. Yeah, she did say be careful around fires. No, still no mommy. I just think mommy doesn't like us anymore. Picked up gear mold. Okay, so now I can make a gear. Mold slot. There we go. Now. Fire it up. Well, I might have to put something in there. Nope, it did its thing. I got a gear. Is this still the second one? Yeah, this is still the second one. We're probably going to finish with the second one today because, I mean, this one's supposed to be four hours by itself. Yeah, the two of them together should have been five hours. I guess we're not going to burn mommy to death. Disappointing. I thought that was going to be the plan. You have the most foggy version I've ever seen. Oh, I'm just lucky like that, I guess. The power of Christ compelled you!
good now. Yeah, okay, she doesn't like fire. <laughs> she doesn't like fire, guys. She said to be careful around fire. So we scared her off with some fires. I grabbed it and I went up instead of forward. Still have plans for you. Get up. Man, that was a really cool chase sequence. Okay. Okay, we're free. We're good. We're safe. Ooh. This is actually so intense. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Somebody asked me during that, is she spider enough for you yet? yet? No, just because she has extra hands doesn't make her more spider-like. She needs a big old booty. Right now, she does not have, she has the thorax. Don't get me wrong. She doesn't have a big enough booty to be a spider girl. Okay, on we go. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Open up. You open up. You open up. You open up. You open up. Get fucked. Bye, mommy. What have you done? You make me part of you. I'm gonna keep. No, she's mine. Get away from my mommy. Hey, 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 hey. I wanted that bit. I wanted the face. Okay. There's something bigger out there. At least I got a leg. I don't even get to take the leg. This is some BS. What was that? Don't know. Something huge. Something skeletal. Well, machinery. Something that doesn't have stuff around it yet. We only wanted the beef. <laughs> I only wanted the face, man. I, I thought it was going to turn into a trophy. I was going to be able to just carry it around with me. Just be like, yeah, may not be gold, but this is a better trophy than any they've given me so far. I defeated the spider lady. Or the mommy who wishes she was a spider lady. You snooze, you lose. I was trying to take it. The game wouldn't let me. Frankly, we just know that's going to make her worse later. I just mean she's going to show up later, but like powered up in like a stronger exoskeleton. Maybe she'll actually be a spider woman. Ooh. You know what? Maybe it's a good thing I let her get taken. Maybe she'll be real built stronger and sexier than before. There was a tape. Where's the tape? 
When did I miss a tape? Tape where? Black tape. How the fuck did I Oh my god. Right next to the VHS player as well. Thank you. I was distracted apparently. Log code 08502. In relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. The prototype. Close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. Nice. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, Got murdered. upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. Behind the camera. <laughs> the prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialist still being inside. Oh, no. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. Huggy Wuggy. I bet I am going to turn out to be one of these things. I mean, the fact that I can't see my body I'm probably experiment 1006, huh? The one that's super intelligent and constantly trying to get out. I bet every other thing in this place is just trying to make sure that I never leave. The game's gonna end with me getting out and destroying the world. You've glitched and cheesed so much of this game. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I'm just trying to play it normally. I mean, I know I've missed a lot of uh, VHS tapes, but yeah, that's that's just part of being a streamer. Don't get me wrong. If I had my attention constantly on my surroundings, I'd probably see all of them. But, because I'm trying to be entertaining and paying attention to, like, dozens of other voices in my head at the same time. Yeah, it's a bit harder. Oh, we're back to the game station. But up high! Sky high! Oh, invisible wall. They don't want me up there. Wee! You came back to the factory? Maybe I did. Or maybe at the end of part one, I died and this is a different person after all. Maybe they're just hoping that I expect that I'm still the same person. Time to choo-choo? Probably. But it looked like there was a fourth game that was highlighted inside the choo-choo. So maybe not time to choo-choo. Maybe they're just making us think it's time to choo-choo. Boom, 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 boom. What do we have up here? Creepy door. <gasps> Poppy, you're alive! Hey, Poppy, you good? Did you kill her? Yes. Good. I'll board the train. Why don't we need to leave? You don't sound like you anymore, Poppy. We need to leave. What happened to the kind Poppy? The cute Poppy. Now she's scary, Poppy. <laughs> uh oh. Rock touring in the game station. Instructions. Start by reporting to the control station. Always keep a minimum of 20 yards away from Mommy Longlegs. The train will arrive with the children at 8 a.m. All children will be gathered inside the game station all at once. The order of the game should be musical memory, whack a wuggy, then statues. I did that! A series of bridges and doors from the control station should guide you to each game. Only long legs can assist in escorting the children to each game. Only one child should ever play a game at a time. Children who are not playing a game will wait at the game station. There's playground equipment to keep them entertained. Record each child's performance as it's relevant to each game. Musical memory, composure, memory, pattern recognition. Wacka Wuggy, hand eye coordination reaction time. Statues, agility, strength, and speed. Once the children have left for the day, return to the control station. Give all reports to Miss Stella Greybear to sort through. 
Why does it sound like they were testing children to see if they were worth like kidnapping or doing something with? <laughs> oh, these formal request form. You said she was too nice before. Yeah, but now she's gone the whole opposite way to just genuinely creepy. <laughs> formal request form. Name. Dr. Matthew Wason. Nature of request. Windows and game station. Why? I don't know if you've ever spent weeks on end in a windowless, artificially lit room. But let me tell you something. It's far from pleasant. The kids are getting rowdy too. You can just see it on their faces. I know there's not really a way to get natural light down here, but there's other ways, right? I'm thinking about fake windows all around. Do that and bam, there's some actual life down here. I saw it on TV last week. This underground place had fake windowless big lights behind glass. It made the whole place feel sunlit. It's nice. You want everyone in the right headspace for these games, don't you? Do the right thing. Add windows. He was really interested in windows. What's this? Void reject? I want a void reject. Do I throw both these switches at once? It's up! It did nothing. But it felt cool. <laughs> Add windows, hell yeah. Okay, so she's in the train waiting for me. Fastest way down! I can't jump that way. That made me sad. Poor guy must have been down here way too often. Yeah, but they gave him his fake windows. That's something. We Always stick with a bud. Ah, How's it growing, bud? Excessive employee fraternization is looked down upon. All workplace relationships should be discussed to HR. <laughs> yeah, the kids always get to stick with a bud. Not you adults. Silly billy adults. I'm also a fan of natural light. Natural light? Don't trust it. It's evil. It gives sunburns. Ooh, I can't get back there. There's an invisible wall. Shame. It looked like there were secrets back there. Poppy? I don't see a poppy. Press tab to view the train code. Oh, right. Uh, playtime code, train access instructions. Lateral night. Did I say lateral? I meant natural light. <laughs> this, this information is for certified playtime code train conductors only. Do not distribute. Part one, icon sequence. Icons must be sequence in this order. Okay, what's part two? Do, do, do. Icons must be colored in this exact order. Red, yellow, red, blue. Red, yellow, red, blue. Red, yellow, red, blue. Red. Yellow, red, blue. Red, yellow, red, blue. Yeah. Okay. Blah. Creepy rabbit thing. Creepy kissy thing. Bumble cat. And creepy spider lady. No. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean to lock that one in. How do I change the character? How do I change the... Um. Oh. Oh. Okay, we need rabbit. Oh, damn it. Uh, the bumblebee. Yeah, that, 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 that. That's the colors. That's the, yeah, okay. Huh? Oh, it changed the color. It changed the colors. Red, yellow, red, blue. Yellow, red, blue. We, we good now. I think. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? It's red, yellow, red, blue, right? Red, yellow, red, blue. Rabbit, kissy, cat thing. What am I? Huh? Wait. Rabbit hug. 
Uh, yeah, red, yellow, red, blue. Um, icons must be sequenced out in this exact order. Yeah, I did that. Icons must be colored in this exact order. I did that. Did I get a third clue? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Oh, I thought she kept it from me because I ran away from her. Part three, order sequence. Press buttons on the cane console. In the okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going crazy. Oh, is it the numbers of one, two, three, four? Like four. So it's what? Four, four, two, one, three. Four, two, one, three. Okay. Um. Poppy? Oh, Poppy was gonna join me. And like to. Ah, off we go. Where is Poppy? Don't know. But I bet we'll see her soon. She can't stay hidden for too long. Off we go. Hell yeah. Chugga chugga choo choo. Chugga chugga cha. Chugga chugga choo choo. Chugga chugga cha. You did kill her mommy. It wasn't her mommy. We saw her family. I was so scared she put me back in that case. But you saved me. You are perfect. Oh, maybe. Too perfect to lose. Poppy's 1006. Sorry. I can't let you leave. No, let me leave. Let me leave. I've never met anyone like you. Uh oh. <laughs> Do you know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well, too long. I had so much time to think and reflect. Time to figure out exactly what I would do when free. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. But I know that whatever I need you to do, you are capable. We will. What is... Who just disconnected me from Poppy? Something happened to her. Okay, so she's trying to use me to her own personal means. She probably is Experiment 1006. It's like clever enough to break all the rules and shit. Or maybe it is me. Who knows? Maybe I'm just a really useful experiment. Uh-oh. Yes, I would like to pull the brake, please. Great. Brace for impact. Did my best. Bum da bum bum. Oh the lever foo? I did as soon as you could see me slamming that button. <laughs> like it wasn't letting me for a while. Oh shit, that's it. Chapter two. Flying a web. That I was told the first one would be one hour, the second one would be like three to four hours. We've 10, 11, 12, 1. We've been playing for three and a half hours and we fixed, we finished both of them. <laughs> Who did Mommy Long Legs? Owsie Lovelock. Good name. Good voice acting. Saying chapter three supposedly takes five hours. That's what I mean. I know chapter three is supposed to be quite a bit longer. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. No, that's the third game. I mean, according to howlongtobeat.com, those were like how long they were supposed to take just a god gamer i guess people were saying i was like glitching my way through a lot of things and cheesing my way through a lot of things so maybe that's what was up <laughs> oh that's a good part to end the chapter two the game is really awesome yeah chapter one was very short but i mean they they know where to end their games it's like oh so poppy is evil 
and then it ends and we're like i guess we'll see what's going on in chapter three he was the singing voice for charlie for that has been hotel viol violet that's crazy that's fucking awesome good for her i wish they'd kept the original cast i thought the original cast was good blitz through all the puzzles and chase scenes <laughs> except for that one chase scene i accidentally killed myself Charlie's video is Bobby Longlegs video. Yeah, that's crazy. It didn't even sound the same. Man, awesome. Okay, with that said, do I play part three? I'm going to do some research real quick. Give me a second. Because how long the beat isn't always honest. So I'm going to see who else in Niji Sanji Ien has played Poppy Playtime part three and how long they took. If it took anyone like less than three hours, we could do part three. But if it's any more than four hours... I know Hex played it recently. Hex. Poppy playtime. Oh, took him three and a half hours. What about... I'm pretty sure Alvin played it too. Alban. Alvin took five hours. Ooh, that's different. <laughs> I mean... Oh. Oh, he played it twice, too. Hey, what? Stream two weeks ago, stream three weeks ago. It, oh, yeah, it took Alvin. Oh, maybe Hex played it twice as well. Alvin did two things. Oh, I can't really tell. Yeah, okay, Hex did do it in two chunks, two throughout chunks. Okay, yeah, no, nah, we're, we're going to save part three for a different one. Um, It took Hex like six hours. It took Alvin like five, uh, like seven hours. Holy shit. Asta did one to three in one stream. I know Asta did, but Asta like did eight hours of straight streaming. Um, Mumu played it too. Dream. Poppy played time. Chapter two, chapter three. Three hours and 47. Did it only take her that long? Or is it in two parts? She streamed three weeks ago. Let's find out. You are the yapper after all. This is true. She only did one part for three and a half hours. Is Mumu just a god gamer? I mean, I know she's good at horror games, but holy shit. Raymus is... Oh, so she hasn't finished the second part of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 yet. <laughs> Meliko did it as well. Okay, final charts. Meloka. Oh, Pio did all three in one go as well. God damn. Poppy Playtime. Um... I can't tell how long Meliko took. Oh, she's done at least two streams. One of them was six hours. One, she took eight hours. Oh, be all poppy playtime. Oh, X actually did three things of chapter three. Oh, God. <laughs> Van Van did chapter three and two. Yeah, okay. Everybody seems to take like six to seven hours, actually. But I don't see Pio Chan has having played. Oh, is it because I searched Pio Chan instead of Dopio? <laughs> Dopio drop scythe. Poppy plates. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, no. Generally, I can't find his ones. Are you sure Dopio played it? Asta definitely played all three in one go. Um, anyway. Yeah, I think we'll stop for there. As far as I can see, everyone in Nijisanji EN took like at least six hours. Uh, does it include Zatsu? Yeah, I'm sure it does include Zatsu. Um, but yeah. If the fact that nobody even finished... How the fuck did Asta do all three in eight hours? That's actually incredible. Asta Poppy Playtime. It was eight hours, right? Yeah, one to three marathon. It only took him eight hours. Asta's a fucking gamer. Holy shit. Everybody else, like, eight hours is close to how long they took just for chapter three. <laughs> I guess Asta is also the only person brave enough to play Funga recently. I know Hex gave it a try, too. God Skills for real, for real? Hell yeah. Okay, but no, we'll, we'll, it's a short stream today. We'll go to Zatsudan, we'll chill and chat for a while. Um, we'll finish Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 next week. It'll probably take me like five hours or something. Yeah, we never do a short stream. It's nice for a change. It's only been three and a half hours. Bum, ba -da -bum. Let me get on some music. I hate silence. Um, I put on. Honestly, maybe Synthwave. No, I really should stop using the Shepherd tracks. <laughs> I just like them so much. Um, Let's put on 
and shrouding lo-fi shore. Atsifutan, thank you. It's been a good run today. Yeah, it wasn't like particularly scary. The dog jumping out of me in nowhere got me. Um, mommy chasing you down corridors, actually pretty damn good. Uh, it definitely didn't feel like horror, horror. Like I'm actually, I'm trying to be able to play Resident Evil 8 right now, but you have to jump through a lot of hoops to be able to play Resident Evil 8 on stream. But I'm trying to get through them. I'm doing my best to get Resident Evil 8 because Resident Evil 7 is probably... Other than Alien Isolation, mm, I couldn't even tell you which one I was more scared of between Resident Evil 7 and Alien Isolation. But yeah, I want to do uh, well, well, Resident Evil 8 while as the Archivist, especially because like it's part... Like there's some daddy stuff involved too. <laughs> Love seeing you thoroughly enjoy yourself. I really like Poppy Playtime, so I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, no, it was definitely an entertaining game. I'm surprised by how good the movement is in it. Like, when you got the grabby hands, I was like, oh, cool. So you'll be able to, like, grab things and drag them around you. I was like, that's a nice, simple mechanic. Then the fact that you were able to, like, grab yourself and pull you up to places and the fact that you were able to, like, start swinging around the air and shit. It's got some really good movement mechanics in it. Oh, yeah, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all the characters in general. <laughs> Physics in this game are crazy good. Yeah. It's just a shame that we managed to run into so many glitches. Um... That moment when it didn't let me jump. Oh, that would have been perfect. That would have been so sick. Just immediately grabbing the pipe, running away from mommy. And yeah, a couple of other things like getting stuck inside the weird little train car thing. <laughs> chapter three has even more mechanics. Let's go. I mean, I know they took quite a while between each chapter as well. So I'm impressed. I'm looking forward to seeing whatever the hell happens. Finally got to watch a game that was a lot of kids love. Oh, oh, a game that a lot of kids love. Thank you for today, Foo. It was interesting. No problem. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And yeah, this is definitely one of the like more popular horror games. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to do Resident Evil 8. I'm just seeing if I can. Never seen anyone glitch it so much before. <laughs> just my luck, I guess. I mean, I wanted to try everything. <laughs> just arrived and you're already leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm just starting my Zatsudan. My Zatsudans often take like three to four hours. Can't help it. I'm just that good of a gamer. Ah, that a normal, like, one hour and three hour game. No, they took me three and a half hours. I mean, combined, that isn't much different. <laughs> and I'm sure, like, including the four hours for Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, like, was including a lot of the people that pick up, like, all of the trophies and stuff, because they normally give you, like, an average. Yeah. You played Bendy in the Ink Machine? It's sort of similar to Poppy Playtime. I haven't, but I've watched the game theories on it. So I know about what Bendy is, but I've never actually played it before. You attract glitches? Eh, that's why I started by playing Cyberpunk. It's always good. <laughs> Resident Evil 8, I haven't finished watching a playthrough for this. I'm interested in it. I really want to play it. Not just because of Lady D. Lady D isn't even much my type. But yeah, just like, ugh. Resident Evil has such a good atmosphere. And yeah, Resident Evil 7 was incredible. I'm surprised how much they've changed the series from like action RPG with horror elements to full on horror game. I'm excited there. Lady D is my type. Fair. <laughs> Lady D, yeah, a lot of people loved her. For me, I don't know. It's the face, man. The face just isn't attractive to me. I prefer the daughters. The daughters are more interesting to me. They're just like goth girlfriend vampire murderers. Like the three daughters. Yeah, fair enough, Oxagra. That's my feeling as well. Lady D is for us, chat. <laughs> there you go. You guys can enjoy Lady D. I can enjoy the daughters. The face isn't attractive. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not a fan of Lady D. The size is great. Don't get me wrong. But the design, I don't like the long white dress. I don't like the hat. And the face is just kind of like 1920s Marilyn Monroe, but huge. It's just meh. Margarita, thank you for donating to the... the, the yeah. Thank you for donating to the food funds is the words I was trying to say. Artsy Futchan, thank you so much for the stream. No problem. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad we got to play this. We'll definitely be playing chapter three next week. And then the week after, I'm probably going to start Pamela. And then who knows? By the time I'm done with... I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. I'm sorry. It's an Indonesian folk horror game. So if I'm pronouncing that completely wrong, just correct me when we start playing it. But yeah, Pamali, like the Indonesian horror game. We'll probably start playing that the week after we finish Poppy Playtime chapter three. Um, and yeah, by the time that's done, maybe we'll even be ready for Resident Evil 8... So we may just be doing horror games the whole way for like the next several weeks, even when we start the longer four games. 
It's correct, Fu. Okay, it is Pamali. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if it was like Pamali or like Pamali or Pamali or I don't know. But cool. Yeah. I'm going to be doing a lot of horror games, just one offs. How long is Resident Evil 8? Resident Evil Village. How long to beat? Oh, shit. Only 10. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That is the most varied I have ever seen a horror game be. Main story, average completion time, nine and a half hours. Main and side stories, average completion time, 12 and a half hours. Completionists who want to 100% the game, 37 hours. What the fuck do you need 20 more hours to do? What the? Huh? <laughs> okay. And even like, yeah, even the DLC side stories. Shadows of Rose only takes three hours and the Mercenaries only takes two hours. Whoa. What the fuck? I am interested. What the hell have they built into this game? <laughs> Nine and a half hours, I beg your pardon. I mean, that's the average for if you... Like, that's just main game. That's literally just if you ignore all side quests, how long on average does it take people to finish just the main game? Um, so yeah, the main and sides, it says about 12 hour average. But then yeah, for some reason, the completionist is like 37 hours. There's quite a lot of collectibles. Oh, is it that type of thing? Ah, uh, that's not so bad then. If it's just like collectibles instead of like side stories and side quests. I couldn't imagine too many side quests in a Resident Evil game. Normally a worst case scenario, it's like, oh, if you connect these three emblems, you can put them into this object and get like a shotgun or something. <laughs> anyway, thank you for donating the food funds, Margarita. But yeah, I want to play number eight because I've heard like, yeah, there are some daddies in number eight as well as Lady D who everyone loves. And I just want to know the story. Number seven got me really invested with the new shit going on. It's not even Raccoon Corp anymore. Some other weird shit going on. And I wonder if Ethan's story continues. Don't tell me if it does. But yeah, I just, I wonder if we've got like a new protagonist or something else is going on. Yeah, the creepy little girl in that story was awesome. And the twists at the end were amazing. I'm looking forward to if it does actually continue or if it at least just continues like the corporation and some other shit going on. Your Sifu? Hell yeah, well. Just hope that I'm actually allowed to play it. There are daddies. That's what I've heard. I mean, it may be wrong. If it's wrong, I've been lied to and somebody just wanted me to play the game, I guess. <laughs> Yanez, thank you for donating the foo funds. The comment is just would. <laughs> Who? Who would you? Yanez, you talking Lady D? You talking Ethan Winters? You talking Chris Redfield? Or are you talking what's her name? Mommy Longlegs? <laughs> You'll love him. He's an amazing daddy. There we go. There's a magnificent daddy with a fine hat. Interesting. So apparently there is a daddy. Now I don't know if I'm being trolled. With people being like, there's a daddy, and then suddenly people being like, oh, there's a daddy. I'm like, oh, no. Is it like the creepy daddy from number seven where you don't actually want to call him daddy? You want to run the fucking other way? <laughs> no, for real. We're not trolling you with a hat. There are many daddies. Okay, I'm going to trust you guys for now. <laughs> Still wonder who Yanez would, though. We'll find out. They'll reply hopefully soon. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Yanez. Have a lovely day. Noween, thank you for donating the food funds. What is this new avatar? Is that Fuchan with a fucking sword? Oh, I remember this one. You got a mini replica phantom from Valorant. Oh, thank you for donating the food funds, Noween. I'm glad to see my little guy is armed now. <laughs> so yeah, I actually saw this on Twitter. Um, They bought like a little toy version of the phantom, one of the main guns in Valorant, and they gave tiny little Fuchan the phantom. <laughs> Really like the characters in Resident Evil 8. Yeah, I've heard it's really good. Everybody was like really excited. Like it became like a big meme thing when it first dropped just for like Lady D and everyone being like, step on me and doing the whole like, oh no, Lady D grabbed me by the neck. Oh, it sure would be a shame if she threw me on the bed and stepped on me. No, whoa, whoa, please don't catch me, Lady D. Kind of shit. Um, but yeah, beyond that, I heard everybody basically say they ended up loving the game. Speaking of mommy long legs, would okay. <laughs> Somebody likes mommy long legs out there at least. Kashigu, <laughs> Atsufu-chan, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Thank you so much for being here, Kashigu. Cute cyborg fan art as well. Is that your fan art? Because I remember seeing that on Twitter. That's adorable. I love the new cyborg with old man sex in it. 
Lady D would make me her dog, I wouldn't complain. God damn, Mario. <laughs> Struggled so much I didn't bother to collect all the types or trophies. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad I missed the tapes. I do like lore and stories. Maybe when I finish chapter three next week, I'll look up like a, 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 a one of those things that breaks down the storyline. But yeah, I've apparently been missing a lot of the tips. <laughs> Lots of somebody's love mommy long legs. Voice acting was impeccable. The design just doesn't do it for me. Just not for me. <laughs> Unfortunately, the voice actress was going fucking hard, though. She did a good job of like psycho yandere balanced with come on play with me <laughs> god damn try princess thank you for donating the food funds yeah no message but thank you so much for donating the food funds thank you for always supporting the channel and i hope you have a lovely day game theorists have, game theorists have done an amazing job as always awesome yeah i'll probably check out their videos after we finish chapter three then just to catch up on all the things that i missed and comfy grabber missed so many super chats shit M. Jane Lim, thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And thank you so much for the support. Mommy just wants some love? No. Mommy wanted to eat our fucking faces. Mommy was not just playing around. Mommy was a problem. <laughs> Huge props to Miss Elsie Lovelock. Yeah, I wonder what else she's been in. It's a shame she isn't Charlie anymore. Because honestly, I liked the fucking... What do you call those? It's not technical. Pilot. I liked the pilot episode of Um Husband Hotel. Elsie Lovelock. Boop, ba -da boop, ba -da boop. Movies? Legend. Oh shit. She's wow. She's been around a long time. She was back in Digimon Adventure in 1999. The fuck? Interesting. Huh. And she does all kinds of like song covers and stuff as well. Cool. God damn. And she was in chivalry too. <laughs> what the shit? Um, this is the thing you should know. When mommy starts counting, if you fall down the stairs, you'll confuse mommy and make her count backwards. That's actually really fucking funny. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Seeing them on streams was so fun too. Have they played the games they voiced in? Because that'd be kind of crazy. Unless you mean like the ones where they were just chatting with like Vivzy Pop and the other people from Has Been. That was pretty cool. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum. Okay, which ones did we miss? Pochi! Pochi, thank you so much for donating the food fund. Sorry, the comfy grabber didn't grab this one. Just want to say I love you, food. Thank you so much for the stream. No problem. I hope you enjoyed it. It's rare we play horror games outside of October. But it's always a fun time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a wonderful time. And thank you for donating the food funds. Yeah. Oh, and it missed this one from Ukesuke as well. Ukesuke, thank you for donating the food funds. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh. I sure hope that no pink spider lady wraps me in her web. That would be so bad. So evil. I can't take that. Ooh. If you don't get the reference, don't worry about it. I, unless I'm wrong, is that Shane Top from Smosh? I know that he does that kind of, like, line a lot. <laughs> tell, tell me that that was actually supposed to be Shane Top from Smosh, because if not, I got that completely wrong and was doing the wrong voice. But yeah, I know he does that shit a lot. Michael Kovac was in Chapter 1 as one of the tech dudes. Michael Kovac. I feel like I know that name, but I don't know where from. He's the scientist. I don't even know who Michael Kovac is. One second. Michael. Kovac. Voice actor. Oh, he was Angel Dust? Oh, shit. That's pretty amazing that they both ended up meeting up in both of these games and in Aspen Hotel. That's funny. <laughs> He's Angel Dust's pilot VA. He did a really good job. Honestly, Angel Dust was so fucking on point in the, in the, in the, in the pilot. God damn it. Um, I have five each other, I would imagine. Probably. <laughs> anyway. Okay, Skay, thank you for donating the food funds. Um, I never got told if that was the correct <laughs> reference. But Shane Top does that voice a lot and those kinds of lines a lot. So I'm going to decide that's what it was. <laughs> Thank you for donating the full funds. And Miss Jerry Lawliot. Boop. Jump scares get me every time, but having you laugh through them makes it easier. Also, Mommy Long Legs and Huggy Wuggy would. Huggy Wuggy too? It is. Oh, good. It was a Shane Top reference. Awesome. 
Shane, Damien, and Courtney, and recently Arasha are like my favorite parts of Smosh. I watch like all their try not to laugh videos. Some of their gaming stuff. The try not to laugh videos are my favorite. Um, but yeah, those four are fucking amazing. Wuggy wuggy. I know, right? I mean, we don't kink shame around here. So absolutely fine. It's just surprising, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the stream, Fuchan. No problem. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Not even Kissy Wissy. Not no Kissy Kissy Missy. Not even Kissy Missy. Huggy Wuggy instead. Huggy Wuggy got the giant teeth, man. <laughs> Kissy Wissy actually. Kissy Missy. Kissy Missy actually helped us. Now that I think about it, she just came up, led us out of a thing, and walked away. Huh. I wonder why she helped us and everybody else is trying to either kill us or trap us. There's something weird going on there. Definitely. I mean, I'm probably just thinking about FNAF too much when I keep imagining them, like, making people into toys. But it makes sense since they had, like, a bunch of orphan children staying at their facility and were doing experiments between them and between the toys. I feel like that's the direction they're going, but I may be wrong. We'll find out. Also, the fact that they gave... Well, they technically gave me my birthday. I mean, if that was just a Markiplier reference. <laughs> they definitely, like... They had a poster of what the founder of the company. Um, So there's a chance that if I went back there, maybe they have the same birthday as what they said my birthday was. I don't know. Wait until you get deep into the Poppy Playtime lore after Chapter 3. Definitely don't want to spoil myself before that. Garden of Banban felt familiar. Oh, it's Banban. -ban. For some reason, I thought it was Bantan. It's Markiplier's birthday. Yeah, but I was kind of hoping that there was like a double thing. Like, they gave away who you were in the game, but maybe not. <laughs> they sell Huggy Wuggy stuffies to kids here in my country. What? What the fuck's a stuffy for one thing? <laughs> but at the same time, I'm Googling stuffy. Oh, it's like a little chibi plush toy. They do! Poppy Playtime Mystery Plush Stuffy. Wow, that's what? <laughs> they genuinely market that shit to kids. It's a stuffy, so it's with all the other, like, cute little axolotls and pandas and... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fanny, thank you so much for donating to the Foo Fans. <laughs> there was no message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and thank you so much for being here. The pug pillar, I got the toy and it's the least favorite. Yeah, I didn't like the look of PJ, I'm not gonna lie. PJ was the creep, well... It was just his face. His face looked naturally evil. Um, All of them look a little evil, but PJ... PJ was my fave. PJ was so cute. Was, wait, was PJ not the caterpillar pug? Because I did not like the caterpillar pug. The caterpillar pug's face was absolutely terrifying. Balloons too? Imagine seeing that at night. Floating man? Oh, you mean balloons? Be kind of sick, actually. <laughs> Shout out YouTube content farms for popularizing Huggy Wuggy to kids. I mean, honestly, kids like some creepy shit. Look at the Teletubbies. Honestly, you look at the Teletubbies and you don't know that they're children mascots and you just be like, what the fuck are these creepy alien creatures? Why do they have TVs in their tummies? Is that okay? Can they breathe? Maybe if you remove the teeth from the dog pillow, he'll be cuter. Ugh. Furbies too. Furbies were more terrifying because they whined and made so many noises. I don't think their design is naturally terrifying. As much as some other children's things. But yeah, a lot of children's mascot creatures do end up looking absolutely horrific. <laughs> but thank you for donating the Foo Funs, Fenny. And thank you for donating the Foo Funs, Herzu Shaoxiang. There was no comment... Hey, why can't I find that one? Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there was no comment, but thank you for the adorable little dancing Shiba Inu super sticker. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for donating the full funds and please rest a while. And there were a few that weren't grabbed by the comment grabber again. I'm sorry. Um, Shim, thank you for donating the full funds. I got a Folger Ducky cover. Made the pillow insert myself. The biggest I've ever made. Let's go. Didn't have enough stuffing, so Legardus is currently all limp. <laughs> Freezing. And lumpy. See, I was already going to make the joke. I was going to be like, ah, how did you like stuffing Legatus? But even before I got there, it was like, didn't have enough stuffing. So he's all limp and lumpy. But very huggable. TY for the stream. 
<laughs> Thank you, Shim. Thank you for donating the food funds, and I'm glad you like the Legatus um, hug pillow. Um, yeah, I believe that was made by Bishy Pro Studio, who I don't believe are going to be doing any more. Meh. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you got that one. I'm glad you enjoy it. I hope you like it. Um, I'm probably not Legatus, but I'm probably going to be doing a hug pillow of my own someday in the future. Since, you know, Scala showed us the way. Scala showed us we can make our own hug pillows and let you guys print them. <laughs> um, Yalin's Mary Mayor. I received something for my second anniversary. The necklace is very beautiful and I'll show them off on my bag. Oh, let's go. I really like the necklace. I'm glad so many people liked it as well. Wasn't sure if people would think it would be a bit boring, but yeah, the signature in a circle, the F-O. Love it. <laughs> so I'm glad you got it too. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Thank you for buying the necklace and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, I think I, I think I got Yume Hayas. Just in case, Yume Haya, there was no comment, but thank you so much for donating the food funds. Hope you have a lovely evening. Please rest well, and thank you so much for being here. This one actually got grabbed. Let's go. I wear the necklace every day. I'm still waiting for mine to come. I want to take a picture of dog wearing it so bad. Yeah. Hopefully they'll send it to me like within the next month. I'm glad you guys are getting yours so bright and early. Archivist and Legatus double-sided hug pillow when? Never. That's not the plan. There's already an unofficial Legatus one. Legatus is done and dealt with. No, we're moving on to bigger things. Bigger things. Xylamin, thank you for donating the full funds. Honestly, mommy isn't that smexy at all. Thank you. Don't get the hype. Lady D ain't really my style either. Do I just not like mommies? I like a lot of mommies, but I don't like either mommy long legs or um, Lady D much either. Lady D's okay, but eh. What about booba pads? Maybe someday, but not anytime soon. Anyways, thank you for the street today. No problem, Xylomin. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm glad some people like them, but they're not for me. Bigger? Don't worry about it, guys. We'll see someday. We'll see someday. <laughs> Secret Life of Anna. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. I finally got the Christmas cafe goods in the mail. Stunning, sir. Can't wait for your anniversary goods. Christmas? Oh, man. That did take a while. Holy crap. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, and I'm glad you got them. By the Christmas Cafe. Do you mean the one where we were all kind of steampunk? Where I had, like, the Christmas and the Robo Confidant? Because I did like those. Those were done really well. Um, I'm also really impressed. I know I'm not part of it, but the Virtual Rhapsody Singapore side... Oh my god, the designs they did for those were beautiful. Um, yeah, those looked really sick. Like all fantasy. Lady D's Japanese character voice is too hot. I'm converted. <laughs> Somebody loves Lady D just for the voice. That's fair. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters. And how's the Xiaosheng? Thank you for another super sticker. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Please rest well. And thank you for donating the food funds. Bum, ba -da -bum, boop. I grabbed that one. There we go. Eleanor, it's your foot China. Just want to say thank you and bye you. No problem. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're having a wonderful evening and I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. The steampunk Christmas designs were amazing. Yeah, they were a fun time. I liked the Robo Dant more than anything. The fact that people managed to like cosplay with the Robo Dant was crazy to me as well. Bum, ba -da -bum. The girls especially were designed so good. I think all of them were designed really good. But yeah, the fantasy outfits look amazing. Marineth, thank you for donating the full funds. My cousin is a teacher and she mentioned that two kids were fighting. Now a lot of kids cried when the other one mentioned mommy long legs. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Why are there kids even playing this game? I mean, there's a lot of blood, but I guess there's technically not really much violence yet. So, I, God, I wonder what kind of rating it does have. This would scare the shit out of me if I was like six, seven years old. <laughs> so yeah, I just can't imagine like children that tiny playing this game is just funny to me. <laughs> Thing is, they don't play it. They most likely watch videos. I guess that's true as well. They probably just watch like their favorite streamers play it. Some of them probably play it though. Maybe it was the spider. Mommy long legs spider. She wasn't really a spider though. I mean, that bit where you're like running down the tunnels. Yeah, that's actually pretty creepy. As you can find it in Roblox, too. Oh, God. Of course you can. 
Roblox is an interesting thing. Like, Roblox has its, like, own economy and own, like, setup for people to learn how to make games and stuff. I heard there was, like, a 13-year-old that made, like, a shit ton of money by making a Roblox game and then eventually selling the rights to it. It was, like, a 13-year-old who made something like $3 million or something. Roblox is funny but pretty wild? Yeah. Definitely one of those, like, old man standing on the lawn things where it's like, it seems neat. It's not for me, though. <laughs> Children these days are built different. Hell yeah. For the same reason kids in 90s watch The Simpsons? Very different thing. I would say more like kids in the 90s watching, like, maybe Ren and Stimpy. Ah, real monsters. Things like that where they did have a bit of a, like, was this really made for kids? Like... How did they let this get on TV? I mean, the people who made, I think it was Red and Stimpy. One of those shows. Literally, the people who made it were like, we just wanted to challenge the fact that cartoons were supposed to be for kids. So we kept putting in dirtier and dirtier and scarier and scarier things. And they just kept not stopping us because it was just cartoons. Was Red and Stimpy? There we go. <laughs> yeah. Red and Stimpy was very disgusting. And, you know, we had like Courage the Cowardly Dog actually had some genuinely terrifying moments. Return the slab. Um. So honestly, Hey Arnold had that creepy shit where like Helga was constantly obsessed with Arnold to the point of talking about. I forget the way she put it, but she said something like really sexual, which was like weird. Something about her loins longing or something. Anyway, Courage the Cowardly Dog scared me. Yeah. Or like South Park. See, South Park's on the same level as Simpsons, just a bit like more disgusting. But it's more like it's just like silly, disgusting kind of humor rather than actually scary stuff. The crochet episode thing on Courage still haunts me. I don't even remember the crochet one. And <laughs> Stimpy was really weird. Yeah, they did that on purpose. They wanted to challenge the idea of like, hey. If it's a cartoon, it's made for kids. Like, back then, they would basically just let people who drew cartoons get away with anything. It was like, it's a kid's show. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Nobody really paid much attention to some of the fucked up shit they put into some of those. I also rewatched The Dark Crystal yesterday. No, two days ago. First day of my holiday. I rewatched The Dark Crystal. It still fucking holds up. I was surprised. I'd been putting off rewatching the Dark Crystal movie for a while because I was like, it's probably no good. It's a bit rushed. I mean, they go from like scene to scene pretty randomly. But other than that, it's really good. The world building is so incredible. I feel like so many things took so much inspiration for it, especially Smurfs in space. What was that? Avatar. Um, Avatar with like the blue peoples in space. Um, definitely took a lot from the world building. Like, so many of the plants are so similar to some of the, like, life forms in... on Pandora. Haven't seen it in forever. Yeah, I hadn't seen it in probably, like, 15 years at least, if not 20. Um, I want to rewatch Never Ending Story as well, because that's another one I haven't seen in ages. Just... Did you say Smurfs in space? <laughs> yeah, that, that literally comes from fucking South Park. They did an episode... I think it was actually called Smurfs in Space. But the whole episode was just taking the piss out of the fact that um, Avatar is just literally Dances with Wolves or The Last Samurai or Pocahontas or any of those movies that have been done time and time again, just this time with blue aliens instead of indigenous peoples. And so the whole thing was like them constantly giving it like silly names like... Um, Oh, yeah, Pocahontas in space. Oh, yeah, Smurfs in space. Oh, yeah, dances with aliens, like shit like that, and just continuously taking the piss out of the fact that people just, like, rebrand things nowadays, take classic stories and just re rework them a tiny bit and, like, hey, can I borrow your homework? Sure, just change it up a little bit so we don't get caught. And yeah. <laughs> so a labyrinth with David Bowie when I was a kid. I liked it, but it traumatized some of my friends. Jim Henson was good at that shit. Jim Henson was very good at, like, actual kids' shows, but then he was also very good at, like, making some of the creepiest and darkest shit possible. Labyrinth was pretty good for, like, the goblin creatures being real creepy, but Dark Crystal goes above and beyond. Some of the creatures in Dark Crystal, oh god. Fucking Skeksis? <sighs> Giant bird creatures that literally drain the essence out of everything else. Labyrinth is such a good movie, I really need to watch it. That's on my list as well. Like, Never Ending Story and then Labyrinth. And then maybe the Princess Bride, but I've actually seen Princess Bride recently. Labyrinth and 
dark crystal and never ending story i haven't seen since like they came out so like forever never rewatched really never ending story although it aired so regularly on tv yeah i think i watched it a lot when i was a kid i'm pretty sure i had one of the vhs's and I played that shit a lot. <laughs> Remember, I had like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies, a lot of Disney movies. And then, yeah, I definitely had that never ending story. Because I remember like watching that all the time. I'm pretty sure I used to watch that and like Sword in the Stone from Disney, which I don't even like nowadays. <laughs> but Disney's Sword in the Stone, I used to watch like a once a week kind of thing when I was a kid. Thank you for donating the Foo Fun's Hersey Shaoshang. Did I even read this one? Thank you for the stream, Foo Foo. It always makes me feel better. I'm glad to hear that. And thank you for that adorable art of Archivist. I saw the little chibi Archivist the whole day. Blah, 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 well, they, blah, 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 a day ago, but I haven't actually retweeted it yet. The Page Master. That was its name, wasn't it? It wasn't Sword in the Stone. Or was it? Wait, the Page Master. Is that a different? Th oh, that's a different thing. Macaulay Culkin and Christopher Lloyd. I don't actually know what this is. Oh, it's like half animated, half live act. Oh, those are creepy ass creatures in the animated version. <laughs> no, I don't remember this one at all. Oh. Wait, I remember this pink book thing. Okay, this is like a core memory. I've definitely seen this at some point in my life, but I forgot. <gasps> is this the one where they have like the moment where the book gets tied down by tiny little people? Because I remember that scene so vividly for some reason. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. I, I barely remember this movie. When I saw the pink book character, I was like, I have seen this. And then I saw like a beach. It doesn't actually show the thing being tied down. But yeah, I remember him being tied down by a bunch of little tiny people. I don't know why that's a core memory that stuck with me. <laughs> Maybe it was like a fear that my toys would come alive and attack me someday or some shit. Shit, that's a weird trauma memory for me. Now I kind of want to rewatch that too. The fact that I remember that one scene so clearly is like, huh, creepy. <laughs> Did it traumatize me? Did it like unlock something in my brain? I remember the Jekyll and Hyde scene. I can't remember. Okay, you know what? Fuck yeah, I'm, I'm saving that. Page Master is another thing I'm going to watch. Do, 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 do. Come on, phone. Why are you so slow? Page Master. 1994. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Lays, thank you for donating the food funds. I chew foo. Thank you for the stream. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I will. Um, I'm going to just relax for a while after this. Then I'm going to start collecting all the Fuchan Ask, the Archivist, Archivist Ask, whatever I called it. Archivist Advice. I'm going to collect all of those and start preparing for that for tomorrow. Opening theme to Cow and Chicken still weirds me out. Even as a kid, I was like, I don't remember Cow and Chicken. I remember, uh, what was the Baboon and Weasel show? I are Baboon. I am Weasel. I don't remember Cow and Chicken at all. I remember Cat Dog as well. Alone in the world is a little cat dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. I am Weasel. That one, yeah. <laughs> I are baboon. I am Weasel. It was part of that show? Oh. <laughs> the, they were together? Huh. I think it was an I am Weasel. It was a spin-off. Oh. My brain. That's weird. I didn't even remember. Mama had a chicken. Mama had a cow. Dad was proud. He didn't care how. Cow, chicken, cow, and chicken. Yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> Step, thank you for donating the Foo Fons. Um, just a scared looking face. You look at me all scared. I look at you all scared. How about that? You feel bad now? Feel bad now? <laughs> thank you for turning the food fun step hope you're having a lovely day thank you so much for being here and please rest well one of my favorites was daria but god was that in the 90s i thought that was early 2000s daria american sitcom oh yeah oh yeah no it started in 1997 holy crap didn't they just do a reboot of that or am i imagining that oh they did in 2023 a weird Jody spin-off thing? Aw. Daria spin-off Jody now an animated film. 
Well, they just redid the whole thing. I know they redid Beavis and Butthead. I never really watched Daria. Um, most I know about Daria is that she was like a sassy teenager. <laughs> and like they compared Diane from Bojack Horseman to her. <laughs> Did they? Apparently they were planning on it. Maybe it hasn't come out yet. Maybe it was just something that they announced. They definitely did a remake of Beavis and Butthead for at least one season. Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. Fern Gully was amazing. It's also the reason that, what's his name? Robin Williams ended up fighting with Disney for like a good decade. Because yeah, they, ooh, they were so fighting so hard. Robin Williams really wanted to do the voice of the bat in Fern Gully. And was just happy to do it because he liked the whole like message about being pro environment and nice to the rainforests and not polluting so much and disney fucked with them so much because disney wanted him to just show up and do the genie in aladdin and so they continuously like tried to force him into working with them and like booked out the studios that they were trying to rent for him to record his voice acting they were really trying to make it so that he couldn't be a part of fern gully it was crazy um and then they fucked him over when it came to merchandising as well where he finally agreed to be the genie in aladdin but was like okay but you absolutely can't use my voice for marketing i don't want to be on any toys and i don't want to be on any advertisements just make me a side character and then they made him like 90 percent of their advertising <laughs> they were like come watch aladdin featuring the voice of robin williams as genie and like put him in mcdonald's toys and all kinds of things <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, that's why they didn't talk to each other for like 10 years. Bum, ba -da -bum. It's all good, though. Hey, they forgave each other by the future. Anyway, I think that's all the super chats. I'm going to go check if there were any stream labs today. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum. Shocking big corporations doing what they want. I mean, it was a bad move for them. He made sure everybody knew about it when he won an award for that. <laughs> PS3, March 22nd. Okay, yeah, we have a few today. Diana, thank you so much for donating the full funds. Yeah. So glad you finally gave Poppy playtime a go. Thank you for the fun gameplay, Flancita. No problem. De nada. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to part three. The storyline seems interesting. I feel like I'm missing quite a bit because I miss so many of the damn VHSs. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be less confusing in part three yeah the gameplay has been awesome the jump scares are okay the horror moment of like mommy long legs chasing you through the corridors was actually pretty damn good and the caterpillar puppy thing oh i feel like that was more just i didn't understand the mechanics both times that i died like the first time i died it was because i was like not realizing you couldn't swim through the air the second time was just kind of testing things <laughs> Excited to see what happens next. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to have a new enemy. wonder if each chapter is just going to be based around like a new enemy and then it'll go on to other things. I also wonder how many chapters they're planning on doing or do they even have a plan for it? Maybe they're just going to see what happens. <laughs> have you played it? I waited so long. Yeah, I'm glad we finally got a chance to. I actually haven't seen chapter three yet, so it'll be fun to experience it on stream for the first time. Yeah, it should be good. Never had a chance to watch some shows that everyone's talking about. Yeah, I mean, it depends on where you grew up and, like, the timeline. It's like, yeah, I didn't get to watch, like, a lot of the anime that people in America did. Like, we had Outlaw Star, but we never had Cowboy Bebop in the UK, which saw. Because <laughs> Cowboy Bebop and, oh, God, I forget. There were a couple of other shows that, like, America aired that had, like, full English dubs that for some reason never came on to, like, the British television yeah, channels. Ah. Uh. I'm Jane Lim, thank you for donating the full funds. Atsufu, and thank you for the stream. Gamba, and on offline work. I'm gonna add Poppy Playtime to one of the VOD lists that I have to watch, so I'm just dropping by for the feed funds. Take care and rest well as always. Bye, you. Thank you, MJ Lim. I hope you enjoy the VOD when you get to watch it. Thank you for donating the full funds. Have a wonderful evening and please rest well. Honestly, it's never too late to catch up. That's true as well. Sometimes. Like I said, I was surprised that the Dark Crystal holds up. I was half expecting to watch the Dark Crystal and to be like, oh, this is terrible. But now, I mean, I found like a release that has like full 1080. I think it's technically 4K. But I mean, I watched it in 1080p and it looked really good. I was shocked. Um, Try Princess, thank you for donating the full funds. Yeah. 
no message but thank you so much for always supporting the channel tri princess normally on both sides as well so thank you hope you're having a wonderful evening please rest well and take it easy there's no set on how many chapters poppy will have but the fourth chapter is in plan hell yeah but they're definitely not stopping on three see that's part of the reason i didn't want to play poppy playtime <laughs> part of the reason that i don't want to play um your turn to die as well because i believe that one's still releasing chapters every now and then as well all right Oof. So it's like uh you get to the end and then you're like i guess we wait for the next one <laughs> Bum, ba -da -bum. Ooh. Jules, thank you for donating the food funds twice in a row. Atsifu-chan, thank you for the stream. Even though I've watched many playthroughs, the jump scares still get me sometimes. Some of them really came out of nowhere, man. It was good. I replayed Mommy's VA so many times when it first came out because I loved it so much. Hope you enjoy chapter three as well. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, finding out that the VA is like so well established and also did Charlie from Has Been is kind of crazy. I also wanted to share some good news that I got into the study abroad program that I've been working towards for the past two years. Let's go. Congratulations. God, two years of work paid off. That's freaking awesome. Congratulations. And I hope you have so much fun. Thank you for inspiring me to work towards my goals and dreams. And I'll bring Fupape with me on my adventures. Awesome. Hope you have so much fun traveling the world, doing whatever it is that you're planning on doing for the work program. Yeah, that's awesome. Two years of work, you managed to wake it. Eleb. You managed to make it. <laughs> so congratulations. And now just enjoy it. Have fun with it. And yeah, reap the rewards. Thank you so much for being here, Jules. And congratulations. You may hire. Thank you for donating the full funds. Hey, foo. I just wanted to share that I got inspired by your talk about taking chances and trying things the other day. And put in an application for a new job. Now I have an interview next week. I'm nervous, but happy. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that you may hire. Don't be nervous. Like, <laughs> like I've said this multiple times. If you get the interview, that means you have the qualifications. They don't give you an interview if you don't have the qualifications for the job. So they know you can do it. So don't even worry about it. Just show off. Be confident. Show them how freaking awesome you are. If you've already passed through to the interview stage, then yeah, that means that they know you've got what it takes. So just go for it. Kick its ass, nail that interview, and I hope you get your dream job out of this, because that sounds incredible. Good luck with everything, but I know you've got this. Thank you for donating the food funds. Also, I saw somebody saying they couldn't send a super chat. I don't know why that's happening. But you could try Streamlabs. Sometimes Streamlabs works when Super Chat doesn't, unfortunately. And some people can't send Streamlabs and so have to send super chats. It's it's weird. YouTube and Super Streamlabs be weird sometimes. Bum -ba -da -bum. Hi, Fu and Comfies. I just got back from a school film set. I missed the whole game. It is always the VOD. Yeah, the VOD will be up soon. We probably won't be streaming for much longer. I mean, honestly, <laughs> we got through all the super chats and stream labs. So it's just a question if I get distracted talking about some things. We went down a little moment of like talking about 80s and 90s movies and stuffs. Mm. And Robin Williams. Have fun with the VOD. Hell yeah. Me too. I had to change account to send one. That's really weird. I don't know why that would be a thing. Okay. Let me check my schedule for next week too. I'm not going to share it yet. <laughs> but I just want to check something because I've already made it. Because I know for sure we're definitely playing Poppy Playtime Part 3 next week. And we're finishing off Night in the Woods. Oh, okay. No, I don't even need to check it. Now I know what we've got. So yeah, we've got the birthday Totsumachi and we've got the birthday Zatsudan, both of which I talked about yesterday on the membership post. I mean, yeah, that's four out of five to six. There's going to be six streams this week. <laughs> so yeah, I know what the five and six are. It's going to be a good week. Technically, there's a presence even outside of the birthday streams. <laughs> um, I've talked about the fact that I finally got permission to play one of the games that people have been begging me to play for like ever and ever and ever so we're finally going to do that and it's another one where we can only do the demo so have fun it's father morgana i'm going to scream it's not father morgana kaya you know that <laughs> i literally have said multiple times we're going to be doing several weeks of normal like single one-off things before we go back to father morgana father morgana and three houses will start shortly after but yeah no there's a fun game that i hope will surprise people i mean most people probably know just from the fact that it's only the demo and stuff but we'll see we shall see bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, bum. let's go yeah 
I mean, that's on a very different day from the birthday anyway. It's like at the end of the week, but I hope people will like it. I hope I will like it. I've never played it, so we'll find out. New carnival? Maybe. Slow damage? Maybe. <laughs> you may hire. Thank you for toning the food funds. <laughs> T.Y. for China. I'm more nervous about the change. I've been at my current job for nearly a decade. T.Y. for the stream today, by the way. It was fun as always. I mean, the best thing is if you try it and it's not a good fit and you prefer your old job, you should always be able to go back. They might fill your position, but if nothing else, if you were great at the old job, they should be able to want you to come back. Who knows? Maybe you could apply for a slightly higher thing in the same like job position kind of area. But either way, it's a good step. If you do feel like it will be a good step, trying new things is always good. It may end up completely perfect for you. Or it may just lead you to something new, give you more experience in a different field where you can then move on to maybe some other things. What do you mean, maybe? <laughs> because if I say, if I go silent or say anything else, people are going to be like, oh, that's confirmation for that one. Don't worry about it. We'll find out. <laughs> I had to remove the emojis on my name on Streamlabs so that I could send one? That's interesting. I didn't know it locked off people if they have emojis in their name. That's kind of funny. Just going to say maybe to everything, isn't he? That's the plan. <laughs> if I just say maybe to everything, then nobody will know which one is correct. <laughs> Swedish meatballs. Yo, you put a party hat on Archahorse? Archivorce, even. <laughs> thank you for that. That's adorable. And thank you for donating the food funds. Who do you have a favorite cake flavor? Flavor okay? Um, I don't know. Recently, I've been talking a lot about like Black Forest Ghettos. That's probably more than anything just because I can't get one right now. There aren't any like shops around me that sell Black Forest Ghettos, which is sad because you could get them everywhere in the UK. I got it. I mean, I guess Black Forest Ghetto is probably a French thing since it's a ghetto or it could be from like Germany since that's where the black forest with black forest cherries actually originate from I don't know actually <laughs> but yeah black forest ghetto is delicious um I like pretty much any kind of cheesecake chocolate cheesecake strawberry cheesecake lemon cheesecake <laughs> do pies count because yeah I like pretty much every type of pie as well I think it's German. It's German. It's French. Oh, we had two conflicting things. <laughs> this is what I always find funny. It's just like two people at the same time saying it's German. I think it's German. And then one person being like, it's a French thing. And I'm like, hmm, we shall find out. <laughs> Foo, stop. I crave cake now. So go get some cake. You're an adult. You can buy cake whenever you want. You don't have to wait for your birthday. I only know Schwarzwalder Kistosch. What's that? Schwarz, Schwarz, Schwarz. Fuck! It disappeared. Um, ba bum ba bum. Schwarz wild. Kutch. Schwarz wild kutch. Oh shit! That does look like. A yep, that's a black forest ghetto. That must be the original name for it. Authentic black forest ghetto. Schwarz wild kishkutchen. Ingredients. Ah. Yeah, that is a black... F oh, that looks so good. Holy shit. Okay. I only knew the English word for it. <laughs> Apparently it is German, because that's incredibly German. Svartsvaldsort. Authentic black forest cake. Interesting. Boom, boom. Anytime? Not at 2.30 a.m. Why? <laughs> what? What's going to happen to you? Are you, are you a gremlin? Are you going to turn into like a bunch of mogwais? <laughs> like, I think you're fine. If you eat cake at 2.30 a.m., just don't eat too much cake. Have like a little bit of milk with it. You'll be fine. Christian's cherry? Oh. What's cake? Cake the calcan bit? But Chan, you're making me try to use up the cheesecake crust I've been saving. Oh, what kind of cheesecake are you going to make? Whose bakery still opens at midnight? Your own. You can cook it yourself if you have the ingredients. Cakes are actually really easy to make. All you need is like eggs, flour, milk, and water. Then you're good. I mean, you can make a very simple cake that way. You can make like a brownie pretty damn easily. I think the Black Forest in Germany is right next to France. Black Forest is not French. The name came from the liquor Black Forest, who is the name of a region in Germany. I thought... That's what I said, isn't it? I said Gateau sounds like it's French, but then Black Forest is a place in Germany. 
guess I'm misremembering my own things. <laughs> no cake today, but I had an amazing chocolate cookie. Hell yeah. Cookies are good too. Hey, there's always a 24 hour place you can find cookies. There's normally like a freaking gas station or something. Now I'm craving brownies too. <laughs> there we go. I'd rather go to bed. I mean, that is the better option. Then you can eat whatever you want for breakfast in the morning. Cake for breakfast is awesome. No, it's not. It actually genuinely makes me kind of tired. <laughs> it's the same as having like pancakes for breakfast. I don't get how people do that. Um, depending on what type of cake you want, the dough or the cake can be different. I know because I bake cakes. I know because I once baked cakes and I never will again. And yeah. Yeah, you can make a very simple cake just with like flour, eggs, milk. I know you can make like one in the microwave. You can definitely make some sort of cake in the microwave that only has like three ingredients. Obviously, you normally need like sugar and stuff as well. 24 hour places aren't a thing everywhere. See, that does surprise me. Because even in like my tiny sleepy town, I can walk like 30 minutes in one direction and go to a 24 hour gas station, which also has terrible food. <laughs> Terrible food, which you probably wouldn't want to eat, but I mean, at least it's available. <laughs> Chicken and waffles, though? There you go. Chicken and waffles. I've never actually had chicken and waffles. And again, not a big waffle guy. I prefer pancakes. Pancakes are better than waffles. You can make a cake in a rice cooker? <gasps> you ever had a mug cake, Futan? I've not, but I've seen a lot of different ways you can make them. And make it in a rice cooker. Holy shit. What cake only like needs like four ingredients and could be done in the microwave? That sounds nice and easy. Chicken dipped in syrup. See, I've never tried it, so I can't say anything. It just sounds like too much sugar. Because <laughs> I mean, the breadcrumbs, oh God, it's already deep fried. So it's literally battered in bread and fat and oil. Oh, it just sounds like it would knock my ass out. <laughs> just get an easy bake oven. You know? I've been talking about wanting like some old classic toys. I don't want an easy bake oven though. Those are slow as shit. I've got a microwave. Why would I need an easy bake oven? <laughs> but I thought about it for a minute. I was like, that'd be kind of cute. But no, nah, more just want a yo-yo and some Beyblades. I definitely want some Beyblades. <laughs> Margarita, speaking of cakes, I do recommend trying Russian honey cake. It's very good, but making it is a pain in the ass, but it's worth it. Mmm, Russian honey cake. Let's see if I've ever seen this before. No, I have never seen that. God, there's so many layers. Jesus. Whoa, I do not even know what this is made of, but man, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. In this one that I'm looking at, there's like 14 layers. What the heck? I must take forever to make. Holy crap. What's the true difference between an air fry and an easy bake oven? I'm pretty sure easy bake ovens just use a little light bulb to heat things up. I don't think they have like. Wow, my phone suddenly dropped from 8% to 3% in like 30 seconds. Oh, I guess I'll charge that. But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure Easy Bake Ovens just use light bulbs. So, you know, I'm the type to make fun of air fryers. But even I wouldn't say that those are the same thing. <laughs> it's a little tiny convection oven. Whereas, yeah, Easy Bake Ovens are just straight up light bulbs. A little light bulb, yeah. It's just a light bulb that like tries to concentrate all its heat on top of the things. So, I mean, it barely warmed things up. Easy bake oven is for children. Yeah, I mean, you, they don't want you to actually start a little fire or burn your hand or anything. So, they've done it in a safe way. It's smart. Oh, certain hurdle zero. You managed to do it on Streamlabs. Thank you for donating the foo funds. Hey, you foo. On spring break now so I can rest well. Also, an update on the confidant animation. It'll be done in one to two weeks when I get back to school. <gasps> awesome. I hope you're having fun with it. Thank you for giving me the motivation to draw stuff. No problem. Thank you for making one of your projects about the confidants. I can't wait to see them all bouncing around the forest. Thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a lovely evening. They're not really that safe. Wait, did people get hurt with Easy Bake Ovens? <laughs> wait. They'll defend Easy Bakes, but not Air Fryers. You're damn well right. 
Easy bake ovens were like a classic thing. Air fryers are just stupid. Easy bake oven. Safe? Question mark. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. They recalled 985,000 of them. Oh. Yeah, their entire family ends up in the ER after using one. Okay, um, it's enough Googling that for one day. <laughs> the answer is they were not super safe. <laughs> I think it's because it was a 100 watt light bulb. Were people burning themselves? I mean, I get the idea of like somebody giving themselves food poisoning. Especially if, I mean, I think it includes stuff you're supposed to actually cook in it though that isn't real food. I, I can't imagine like trying to cook real food in there just under a light bulb. Learned our lesson, use tea candles next time. Now you see, you joke. <laughs> you joke, but I know that there are actually some people that just straight up use lighters to eat their food. Like spoonful by spoonful. They'll like open a can of like SpaghettiOs or baked beans or something and just pop it open. One spoonful, boom, lighter underneath the spoon. Heat that shit up for like two to three minutes. You get a nice boiling hot thing, let it cool a bit and then take the bite. And then you move on to the next bite, bite by bite. Every bite takes like two to three minutes. <laughs> they use what? Yeah, it's just straight up a lighter. to heat up the spoon. Is this train spotting? No, thankfully. That's not what they're lighting up, though. That's probably where they got the idea from. <laughs> Claudines, thank you for donating the food funds. Fuchanya. I'm amazed how much I've already used I'm already used to your archivist model. It felt a bit like a stranger the first day, but it felt familiar soon. Ah, the full cameo sheep. Still waiting to see the cake, though. I'm hoping maybe we'll get some official cake art. Give it some time. Give it some time. Right now, we can't, but there might be some official cake art in the future. I'm looking forward to it, too, for proof. Because I got cake. In fact, yeah, I'm going to post about this later tonight because I've seen some people... I think I already missed some birthday events, which sucks. I know there's like Tuk Tuk's with Fuchan on it, and I think there's another location where people have already put up like uh, Fuchan art. So yeah, I'm going to share everybody. Um, the hashtag for this year is going to be hashtag Folger Got Cake. It's that simple. Um, but yeah, I'll put that out on Twitter and just like anybody who's already like uploaded any pictures of like the buses or the Tuk Tuk's or any of the other things going on, then yeah, um, I'll try to actually check those out but yeah that's the hashtag that people can use for like birthday related things so yeah <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds cloudines we shall have cake this year we didn't last year we were literally hashtag folger cakeless but now we're hashtag folger got cake the dough has been left to set now we are beefy also I mean, I talked about, I mean, I already talked about it on membership. It's fine. <laughs> I'm already in like deep working mode for when it comes to the goddamn Shepherd's release now. <laughs> so who knows? Maybe I'll get all of that done before I even go on the uh, one or two week break. Long time no see, Folger. Is he aging? Yeah, it's been a rough two years, man. Two years at Nijisanji turned me from a bright-eyed youth into this Ikeoji. Oh... At least I went to the bakery. I'm thicker. I'm stronger. Talk about sweets made me want to eat baklava now. I feel sick. Wait. You can't really blame that on anybody else. <laughs> you should know how much baklava you could eat. Baklava is delicious, man. I can't even imagine how much baklava I could eat. Baklava? What's the other one? Baklava is like the flaky one, right? I need to Google this. Baklava. Yeah, okay. Baklava is amazing. Oh, God. I haven't had that in so long. Chopped nuts sweetened with syrup or honey with phyllo pastry sweets. Ah, oh, it's such a simple ingredient. It's such a simple ingredient list, but it turns out so good. What's the other thing that I loved? I think it was a Greek or an Italian thing. Baklava was great. I used to get baklava all the time back in London, and there was some other... There's like a gooey, puddingy kind of dessert. Tiramisu. Tiramisu. 
Pietà. Michu. That is Italian, right? I'm imagining that. Origin Italy. Yeah, okay. So yeah, tiramisu and baklava were like the two desserts I used to get the most back in London. Um, And actually, yeah, Black Forest Gattos occasionally, but that was more like a birthday thing. God, how long has it been since I had a cake for my birthday? <laughs> Probably about six years. I haven't had cake in forever. <laughs> it's a good thing we got a different kind of cake this year. Bum, 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 tiramisu is good. Tiramisu is incredible. Tiramisu, baklava, both 10 out of 10s. Um, a lot of other things are like too sweet. Time to prepare yourself a cake. I got all the cake I need now. That long? Yeah, I've just never really been a fan of cake. Like if I want to treat myself to something special, it's like a dinner rather than a sweet thing. I mean, I've said this multiple times. I like like fatty and fried foods. Sweet foods aren't, have never really been my thing. I've always preferred like the saltier sides of things and the fattier like deep fried side of things. Cake funds for your birthday? Hell no. <laughs> like I said, I've got all the cake I need in my life. Anything, I'm probably just going to have, um, takoyaki. I mean, technically, I had takoyaki like three weeks ago, so I don't really need more takoyaki. But I could have takoyaki. <laughs> How about milk tea? I love milk tea. But if, um, I feel like when a lot of people talk about milk tea nowadays, they talk about like the boba style milk tea. When I think about milk tea, milk tea, I just think about, like, Earl Grey with milk in it. <laughs> um, tea and milk, the term is used for hot and cold drinks. Sugar or honey to salt or cardamom. I've never had tea with cardamom in it. But yeah. I don't think I've ever had this kind of, like, super sweet style milk tea. Like, yeah. I've had boba before, but just not this kind. I've had alcoholic boba before. I was so fucking happy. Um, if you ever go to Chinatown in London, <laughs> they have a store that like specifically only caters to like alcoholic boba drinks. Oh, it's so good. Alcoholic boba? Yeah. It's so good. Always wondered if London Fog is just milk tea. London Fog? That's like a brand. I've never heard of that being a drink. London Fog. London Fog Latte. I've never heard of this. London Fog Drink. <laughs> Ingredients. One Earl Grey tea bag. A half cup of hot water. A half cup of vanilla almond milk. Quarter teaspoon of vanilla. No, okay. Apparently it has like a bunch of things in it. Curious, but I'm lightweight as fuck. Oh, they were not particularly strong to be fair. They were just like, they would have like, essentially they were cocktails but then with boba included and the boba were just a sweetener like the boba inside still weren't alcoholic um because yeah popping alcohol would not be great <laughs> you'd have like a nice sweet drink and then the boba would pop and it would just be like pure fucking i don't know vodka <laughs> tequila <laughs> no but essentially it was like different um cocktails and then they just have like you you had like a thousand different choices for the boba pearls as well they had like the classic tapioca. They had like coffee jelly. They had all kinds of things to act as boba. Wouldn't it be like a jello shot? <laughs> yeah, I guess they could do it that way. Even then, that has a bit of a biting flavor. In this place, it was definitely just essentially cocktails, but then with boba in them. They were good. It's like the only time I've enjoyed boba. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just like, I, I prefer just like aloe vera pulp. It's like better to be than boba. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. With that said, probably where we're going to end the stream today. <laughs> but yeah, oh god, I didn't even comment on the fact that Claudines, I'm glad you're so used to the new model already. I love this new model. I can't believe that, yeah, we're already... Again, this is another thing I said on the membership stream today. <laughs> None of these are the secret things, so I'm not sharing anything secret. But yeah, just again, the fact that the model is going to be out sometime this season is fucking crazy to me. Because, yeah, it still feels like the Archivist is brand new. We're still working our way through the Archivist, like, first couple of weeks of, like, one-off streams. And yet, Shepard's on its way too. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you're looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to do another Archivist advice stream. We're going to have the Archivist version of Dr. Ovid answering some questions. So, it's just going to be similar to last time. We're still going to have, like, some of them are going to be funny. Some of them are going to be serious. 
Some of them are going to play into some role-playing aspects, so we're going to have fun with that. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Are we doing something? We've got to be doing something on Sunday. What is on Sunday? Let me find out the long way by going through Twitter. Oh, finding paradise. We're going to cry our eyes out. Yay! <laughs> Oh, God. It's so weird having my schedule ready for next week already. Like, I'm just already like, huh. One thing down, at least. <laughs> Veli, the comfy twin shrimp. Thank you for donating the food funds. Wait. Comfy twin shrimp. Have you guys changed your names again? I know there was a sleepy sheep and there was a sheepy sleep. Now there's a comfy twin shrimp and I'm scared. I'm not even going to lie. There's something afoot here. Thank you for donating the foo funds. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, we're going to find out. You want a Holland next week's schedule? I can tell. There's literally only one thing that's particularly secret, honestly. Like, there's one other one-off game, and then there's the one secret one that's, like, pretty obvious for most people, I'd imagine. <laughs> I'm Jane Lim. Thank you for donating the foo funds. I'll be visiting UK for the first time in two months for my sister's wedding. I want to ask if you have any recommendations for a foodie sheep here. Let me... Oh, God. Oh, no. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, if you've never been to the UK, definitely go and get a cheeky Nando's. Just for the fucking memes. It's not even particularly good food. It's honestly kind of healthy compared to a lot of other fast food places. So do try it, Nando's. They just, like... They do, like, grilled chicken. Well... I guess it's baked chicken. But anyway, it's not deep fried chicken. So it's like a healthy a healthy kind of chicken. And they cover it in like a peri-peri sauce. So you can get it to like different spice levels. They actually go pretty spicy at Nando's. It's not bad if you get like the highest level spiciness. Um, so yeah, go to Nando's. Fish and chips is a must. Especially since the chips in England are actually chips. I fucking hate what they... Well, they don't even call them chips in America. They call them french fries. But yeah, they're actual like... What Americans would call steak fries. They're big, thick chips. Get a nice, like, fish and chip beer battered cod. That'll be fucking sick. I mean, where in the UK? Everywhere. This is the thing. I'm not saying specific London. I forgot the names of... Because that's where I initially fucked up. I was like... My brain was like... Oh, no. What was that Japanese place I really liked the name of? I can't remember. Um, I know it was just off of Trafalgar Square... It was between... I know exactly how to find it. That's the fucking annoying thing. It's like an offshoot of Trafalgar Square between Trafalgar Square and Trocadero. So between Trafalgar Square and Oxford Street. <laughs> but I can't remember its name. <laughs> the Japan Center. No, the Japan Center, I mean, it has some food, but it's mostly snacky kind of stuff. Like you can grab like onigiri and um, mochi, stuff like that. But you can't grab like actual meals. Um, Google Maps. I mean, I guess I could do that. I could just go down and just be like, hey, I know it's this way. Fuck it. Yeah, why not? Google Maps. Trafalgar Square. I'll do the journey. <laughs> I'll go through the journey. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to remind me of shit. Okay, there's Trafalgar Square. There's the King George. There's Nelson's Column. So it would be this direction. Da -da -da. Ah, that's the problem. It's a bunch of offshoots. There are so many things here. Holy fuck. There are three Cafe Nero's within like two blocks. What the shit? Temporarily closed. Royal Marines. Rockwell. Council. There's so many pret as well. pret have some good food. Um... They're nothing amazing and they're quite expensive, but pret a sushi and their all-day breakfast, all breakfast sandwiches are really good. But they're really expensive for what they are as well. What's this green area? Oh, okay. That's right next... Yeah, Waterloo. Went too far. Shit. Okay. So somewhere around here... I can't find it. Maybe it closed down. Let me go down to the ground. Oh, it's not letting me. Why is it not letting me go down to the ground? Fuck. Come on, ground level. Ground square. That's where I would get the bus. 
so it's this way. And before Leicester Square. Yeah, I think it must have closed. It would have been on Whitcomb Street. That sucks. That was like the best Japanese food in London. I say that. There's probably much fancier places that are better. That was the best affordable <laughs> Japanese restaurant in London. Shit. Oh, well. Yeah, okay, my favorite place is gone. Or at least it doesn't show up on Google Maps. Sad. Oh, well. Um, other than that... Somebody mentioned Greg's earlier. Greg's don't do good food. <laughs> Greg's do okay food. If you're going to go to Greg's, get like a sausage roll. That's like the classic everybody talks about it kind of thing. They have some decent chicken salad sandwiches as well. Um, but get a sausage roll if you happen to see a Greg's. Greg's are like a... Sh All of them are small, but they're like well-known bakeries. Maybe it's like a secret place now. No, nah, I probably just closed down, honestly. I mean, I haven't been there in like six, seven years. Probably anything that I used to enjoy is gone now. I think Wingstop is quite good. Wingstop, you can definitely find like all over the place though. There'll be another great diner awaiting. Yeah, there's always other places. Always. Like I said, like when I was there, I didn't want to spend any more than like 10 pounds on a meal anyway. <laughs> so probably, oh God, I think I remembered his name. No, I didn't. That's fuck. That's an American one. Ah, I can't believe I can't remember the name. God, I'm so old. I went there like once every two months with my friends. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, no, it's just gone from my memory. That's crazy. Veli the comfy twin shroop again. <laughs> Thank you for toting the foo funds. The message is just a scary smiley face. I'm glad that part doesn't get comfy crapped. <laughs> but thank you for toning the food funds. I hope you're having a good day. Rest well and have a lovely evening. Pat, pat, old man. Ah, it was just crazy to me. I mean, it's only been like seven years. And I can remember Trocadero. It was one of those places I always went to when I went to central London. I would go to like Trocadero, play like Para Para and DDR and like the Silent Hill shooting game. We'd go to like maybe Hyde Park because that's where all the cosplayers hung out. And then we'd go, yeah, to Chinatown. And right next to Chinatown was this Japanese... Oh, did I just remember its name? It is closed and I was on the right street. Yeah, okay. It was called Zipangu. Oh, man, it's gone. Zipangu closed. Eight Little Newport Street, London. Damn, it is gone. Fuck. Yo, it had a perfect 5.0 rating. Okay, it wasn't just me who liked it. To be fair, there used to be like lines of people waiting outside of it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, its name was Zipangu. It was like right next to um, Chinatown. Um, not too far from Trafalgar Square and from uh, uh, Trocadero. Yo, my brain remembered it though. <laughs> I love being like, is that Zipangu? I was like... I don't want to say it out loud in case it's wrong and it's like giving away something else weird. It's really sad. I mean, it happens. This is this is what I was talking about the last times we were playing all the nostalgia bait games where it's like, yeah, you can never actually go back to your hometown if you've been away for like 10 years. Everything's changed by that point. People move, people leave, businesses close, people pass away and so their businesses close. Different people live in different areas. Hell, things get gentrified and shit. So yeah. How I remember London from like seven years ago is not what London looks like anymore. I can never go back to the London of my memories. I can only remember them. Think about how good they were. They were the first place I got a... Kimchi. Kimchi ramen. Kimchi ramen was so good. Actually, they may have been one of the first places that combined those two. Well, probably not. <laughs> but yeah, I remember even thinking that was Japanese when I first got it. I was like, wow, this kimchi stuff is delicious. Japanese food is awesome. And then not finding out kimchi was Korean for like ages. <laughs> anyway, Margarita, thank you for donating the food fun. <laughs> what did a cow say to his girlfriend? He said, can you give me a smooch? That one's rough. <laughs> that one's rough. Ah, oh, 
five out of ten. <laughs> the nostalgia aches and the change over time makes different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You always have the memories. Hell, if you went back, it may be way fucking worse. It may be terrible. For all I know, if I went back to Zipangu nowadays, I'd be like, oh god, this is disgusting. I've had much better kimchi ramen and sushi. Except that it had a 5.0 rating. Oh, man. That place was so cheap, but apparently it really was good. I'm not just imagining it. <laughs> Thank you for donating the fruit funds, Margarita. Hope you have a lovely evening and please rest a while. Wow, chat likes it. 10 out of 10? 9 out of 10? Wow. You guys are just too nice. Meanwhile, you were making fun of some of the jokes from the cute little characters in this game. How dare wasn't just good because it was cheap. No, it was actually good. And it's closed now. Probably because they sold things for so cheap. They could have been like a fancy place. <laughs> Damn it. Ihada, thank you for donating the food funds. Uncle Fu. No, you're not supposed to call me like that. That's against the chat rules. You know what? When I was watching the stream, the stuck between two pillars for about 10 minutes. Oh my God. Yeah, no, that was fucking embarrassing. The thing was, everybody was saying like, oh, everybody gets stuck here. But yeah. As soon as you realize what the freaking answer is, as soon as you see, like, oh, I can just throw my hand behind this thing and it will stop it from catching on the first pillar. Ah, oh, it made me feel so dumb. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't feel bad about failing that too much because, yeah, I just didn't look at it from the right angle. If I had just gotten that close, I would have been like, oh, stick your hand through this. It was very funny, though. Anybody who knew what you had to do was probably like, Fuchan, why are you just doing the same thing over and over and over again? That's the definition of insanity, you dumbass. <laughs> we figured it out eventually. Only literally after I asked for a hint and people were like, think about the blue pipe, Fuchan. Look at the blue pipe. And then I was just looking like up and down it like, wait, can I climb on the blue pipe? Can I like go down to a lower level on the blue pipe? <laughs> Did my best. Egg foo young is yum. I used to eat it with May fun. I don't know what either of those things are. Thank you for donating the foo fun, Zihada. I hope you have a lovely evening and please rest well. Chat summer. Also, um, to everybody who was constantly shouting at me that there were easier places to get Zongzi. <laughs> I finally know of a good place to get Zongzi. I'm going to be able to get some nice meaty ones. And it's not going to cost 30 bucks just for two zongs. <laughs> There's a place that's cheaper. They deliver things within three days. And I can get the meat flavored ones because they deliver things within three days. So I don't have to worry about ordering zongzu like two months early. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I finally found like a Chinese bakery grocery kind of thing that will sell things like online and deliver them safely. So it looks trustworthy. Meat is the only rightful one. That's what I kept hearing. Considering I was just going to have, like, the chestnut ones. <laughs> Apparently, Zipangu closed in 2008. Tooth? No, that can't be right. I was definitely there, like, less than 10 years ago. What? Going crazy? It turned into another Japanese restaurant, which was in turn replaced by a Chinese restaurant. Maybe I just went to the same restaurant that was in the same... Oh, I do remember when it changed names. But I'm pretty sure it was still owned by the same people. Because they had the exact same menu. It was Zipangu and then it changed its name. I don't remember it changing its name a third time. So I must have been gone before the third time. But yeah, definitely both of them. They had the same menu. They both had like... <laughs> they both still definitely had like spicy um, kimchi ramen. It was really good. I think that's mainly what I got there. Sometimes we got sushi as well for the table. So a rebranding. I'm pretty sure it was just a rebranding. Because I definitely went there after they changed the name. But to me it was still always Zipangu. I'm pretty sure they opened like multiple locations with the second name as well. But I can't remember the second name. Um, they definitely had like one that was closer to... Uh oh, what's the area with all the sex shops? can't remember the name of the area but not too far from there likely a change in management yeah probably want sushi now god damn it i just waddled in you've been here for a while kaya you can't say you keep waddling in when you waddle in like every five minutes soho yes soho has all the sex shops i'm pretty sure they opened like another one of those shops there um 
But yeah, we talk about food a lot anyway. Soho is full of sex shops, for those who don't know. It's like a little area of central London, which is just known for like tons of sex shops and also tons of, um, well, <laughs> other sexual things. <laughs> Let's just say if you go into certain bathrooms in the Soho area, you may find some holes. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Check your bathroom stalls before you commit to them. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even read this one. I'm sorry, chat summer. Thank you for donating the food funds. Just want to say thank you for being you, sir. Very proud to be a confidant and have you as my Kami Oshi. Hope you have a great day today, Fuchan. Thank you. I'm sure I will. Wait. Or did that lead me off into talking about food? I don't even remember. <laughs> but thank you for toning the food funds. Hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for being here and please rest well. So Soho is actually short for some hoes? No, surprisingly. Although that's actually really funny and that's how they should brand themselves. <laughs> Just be like, yeah, this is where some hoes hang out. Soho. <laughs> Valley the comfy twin sheep. It is me, sheepy sleep. I changed my name so you can tell me and my comfy twin Feli apart. Oh god, why are the names so similar as well? Feli and Veli. <laughs> it was funny you thought we were the same sheep for a week. I think it was more than a week, honestly. I remember being like, sleepy sheep, sheepy sleep, and just thinking you'd changed your name. Feli and Veli aren't too different either. God damn my brain. Thank you for donating the food funds. And for the very confusing name changes, I hope you have a lovely evening and please rest well. Ihada, it's 3 a.m. here and I'm listening to you talk about food. Easy way to solve that. Go get some 3 a.m. food. There really is a Soho. It's not a legend. No, it's a real place. Full of sex shops. Tons and tons of sex shops. I remember the going there the first time when I was like 14 and realizing that there is no age limit on sex toys, which was interesting to me. I remember going into a sex shop with, with a couple of my guy friends and we were all like, bro, 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 bro. To try, try to buy this try to buy like we were all like egging each other on and then i ended up buying something and they just sold it to me and i was like huh yeah i guess there are technically no age limits when it comes to sex toys because they're just essentially massages unless you use them the way they're intended <laughs> so that was interesting they check ids i don't think they technically need to if they i as far as i know like i've never seen like a you must be 18 to use this kind of thing I don't think we should have even legally been in this store, but... Well, it happened. What did you do with them? Oh, we wrapped them up and gave them to another one of our friends. It wasn't a sex toy I would have used. <laughs> it was like a giant fucking vibrator. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, we just wrapped it up properly and gave it to one of our friends for the birthday. He, it, it was a guy that we gave it to as well, so it was just like, ah, hope you enjoy this, buddy. We know you need one. <laughs> learn new stuff every day here hell oh, yeah i think the funniest thing is when you give someone a sex toy as a joke and you can tell they actually are kind of interested in it. have you ever given somebody like one of those kinds of toys as like a gift and been like ah, i was just kidding that's not your real gift here's your real gift here give me that back and they've been like no oh, no I'll, I'll throw it away for you don't worry about it it's like okay <laughs> Enjoy your fake gift and your real gift. <laughs> like, that's happened to me at least twice in my life. <laughs> like, I've seen... Not, I haven't ever been the one who gave the gift, but I've definitely, like, I remember, like, people being given a sex gift and then just being like, oh, man, that's so dumb. I'm never going to use that. The person who gave it to them, they'd be like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. Give it back to me. I'll get, I'll get rid of it. And them just being like, oh, no, don't worry. I'll get rid of it. And it's just like, oh... They both kind of want it. <laughs> they, they both kind of want it. They talk, they're talking about it as if it's a joke, but that's going to get some use. Anyway, thank you for donating the Foo Fun Ciara. <laughs> and the second one. Okay, Foo, don't worry about that. We love City Foo. Thank you. Was that about talking about food things? Because, yeah. <laughs> some of them aren't meant for realistic use. That's true as well. <laughs> Plot twist. Gifter wanted it for themselves. That has 100% happened. 100%. I know for a fact that one of my friends was planning on keeping what they got as a low joke gift and then was disappointed that the friend actually seemed to want it. But yeah, they gave them, I think it was, I think it was a vibrator again, but it was one of like the fancy ones that like straight up moved and had like the extra 
point of contact at the top. And it was like a really expensive one, like probably like 120 pounds or something. And they gave it to the friend. They, they meant it as a joke and they had a completely other gift to give them. But the friend was like, no, I actually want this. I'll keep it. Thank you. <laughs> they just straight up said, no, no, no. I like this. Thank you. I, I definitely get some use out of this. I was just like very open about the fact that they were going to use it in that case. And yeah, the person who gifted it to them was like straight up later to me was like, yeah, I actually wanted that for myself. I mean, it's a really fancy one. I wouldn't have gotten that as a gift for someone. <laughs> Jokes on them. Yeah, that's what happens when you try to embarrass someone about their sexual appetites. Sometimes they just be like, oh shit, yo. Fancy vibration and movement and the extra vibrator on top. Fuck yeah. <laughs> $150 gift is a lot. Yeah, I think this was when we were like early, early 20s as well. So <laughs> it's a lot of money for at the time, especially. <laughs> like you're working part time, so probably like... 10 hour shift to just play for that one sex toy <laughs> even more than that i think i used to get like eight pounds an hour so jesus yeah like 12 14 hours to pay for one sex toy oh my god that's kind of crazy minimum wage in london you have to work like 14 hours half a day just to be able to literally fuck yourself <laughs> MJ and Lim, thank you for donating the food funds. Thank you for the recommendations for China. I'll take note of the places that are still there. Bah, no problem. I mean, that's why I started mentioning like the big places like Nando's, Greg's, um, pret a manger pret a manger honestly, is still pretty good. Um, too expensive for what it is, but they make everything fresh in the day as well. And they donate anything that doesn't get sold to like homeless people. So they're pretty nice. Oh, you F yourself often. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm glad you retracted your own comment. How dare. We shall not talk about that. Work hard to play hard. God damn it, Luna Harmony. <laughs> not wrong. Not wrong. <laughs> Lumiere, thank you for donating the food funds. Achifu. I'm surprised to know you can hide behind the fence because I've only seen people hide in the smelter. But GG nonetheless. Oh, they climbed into the smelter? I would have been terrified of that. I would have been scared she would have pressed the button. I mean, honestly, I was just... My hope was that she would, like, walk into the fire. But yeah, the fact that she just came up close and then left. Yeah, I guess she really hates fire. If it works, it works. That's all that matters. <laughs> but thank you for downing the food funds, Lumiere, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Man, I can't believe I did it the wrong way. <laughs> I guess that does make... Well, she should be able to grab you. Like, that's the thing. You shouldn't be able to hide in the smelter because even if she can't get in there herself, her hands are definitely small enough that they could just reach in and grab you. That's oversight as fuck. <laughs> anyway, one more super chat and then we're going to head off for the day. Vivian, thank you so much for donating the full funds. Ah. <laughs> fuck. Atsu Fuchan. Actually, I just got back from Soho and... Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Um... I hope it was like comfy stuff. <laughs> like you just walked around Soho and engaged in your own time. But I hope you didn't wander into one of those bathrooms accidentally. Because yeah, they definitely, they definitely have bathrooms that are set up for things. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food funds, Vivian. I hope you had a lot of fun. I mean, Soho doesn't just have sex shops. They also have like a lot of clothing boutiques and like fancy like clothes and um necklaces and jewelry stores and stuff so <laughs> hope you had a wonderful time vivian <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds <laughs> first time i heard that oh my oh okay you didn't even know while you were walking around that's even funnier <laughs> would you call the bathrooms glorious yes i would yes i would <laughs> and clubs very true anton i never went to the clubs like i said i've only ever been to one nightclub and it was I'm gonna think of I think that place was in Traf no not Trafalgar Square. Oh, it was actually next to Soho because it was at what's the other square called? I think Leicester Square is the one with the greenery around it. There's a club there, I forget its name, but that's like the one nightclub I ever went to in my life. And it was terrible, and I hated it. And I'll never go to a nightclub again. <laughs> Glad I missed that when I was there. Good. The funny thing is, Soho is really close to Chinatown as well, though. So, like, it, within that, like, five-minute walk of each other, you've got, like, all of, like, the weeaboo kind of area. <laughs> all of the area where, like, the cosplayers and, 
like people that love like Asia go to, all of the nerds, all the like the hobby shops and stuff. And then yeah, within a five minute walk, you've got like the sex area. <laughs> it's really fucking close. Really? Yeah, it's just like a few streets away. <laughs> Clubs can be fun. Maybe not for me. I don't like people. Too many people. Drink of choice, anything strong and alcoholic. But Godfather's more than anything. Um, honestly, anything that's like got a good flavor profile mixed with enough alcohol to knock your ass out in like three drinks. It's good by me. Shit, just give me a fucking screwdriver. I'm fine if you just give me fucking orange juice and vodka. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> too many dramas take place in Soho. That's true as well. They record like a lot of movies and shit there too. Like mood pubs and bars get too loud for me. Yeah, I like the feeling of like a quiet pub. A quiet pub is nice and comfortable. Meanwhile, you go to those pubs where they have like a hundred people shoved into a room all shouting at the bartender to get his attention. That, I hate that shit. That shit sucks. Pina colada. Pina coladas are delicious. Pina coladas are good. Old fashions are good. Screwdrivers are good. Anything with like melon liqueur is good. Anything that involves like sours mixed with sweet things. Still like Blue Lagoon quite a bit. I still like Purple Rains quite a bit. Anyway. <laughs> We're gonna end here for today. Have you tried Calprinha? Calprinha. A cocktail. Oh, Caiprinha. I bet they're wrong. Is there oh, I have tried one of these. Brazil's national cocktail from Sao Paulo made with Ashaka sugar and lime. The drink is prepared by mixer. I have had one of these. I don't remember how long ago, but I remember seeing this. I did not remember the name. I straight up Googled it. But as soon as I saw it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely had one of these at a restaurant like some long time ago. Yeah, they were delicious. Bit too sweet. That's one thing I like about sugar cane though, is that like they don't actually put too much sugar in it, but it's a different kind of sweet from like processed sugar or from like the fake sugar kind of stuff. So that is zero calories. Found out I have a strong alcohol tolerance because my first drink was strong and old fashioned. <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean you have a strong tolerance. You need to find out how much it takes you to get drunk. <laughs> but yeah, if you will first drink, oh, people can mix those in weird ways. Like especially, yeah, if you just mix a type of alcohol with like a type of juice or soda, you never know how strong it is. Like me having a vodka, vodka like orange could be completely different from somebody else having a vodka orange. <laughs> Some people make it like three parts juice to one part vodka. Some people make it like two parts vodka to one part drink. Uh, if you've had an authentic one, it's less sweet too. Depends on the kachaka. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It might be kachasa you use. But a small bottle of wine during this stream. The whole bottle? Ah, I'm impressive. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, no, I need to leave. Stop this, Fuchan. All the distractions. Okay, we're going to head out for the day. <laughs> we're going to be back tomorrow for Archivist Advice. And then the day after for... for uh, imposter Par Finding Paradise? Finding Paradise. Imposter Factory is the third one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you had a good time. Oh, this was five hours anyway, even though it was a pretty short gaming stream. <laughs> My brain. Anyway, I hope you all have a lovely evening. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. And as usual on the way out, I'd like to say a special thank you to everybody who joined the membership today. Ooh, and if you haven't already, if you are interested in joining in like the archivist advice thing, feel free to share them on Twitter using hashtag archivist advice. Um, uh, you've got somewhere around, like, I don't know, 15 hours left to enter if you want to, because I'm going to start collecting them like in a couple hours, but I'm going to do one final run through before the stream as well and collect as many as I can, like right before the stream as well. But the general deadline is like three hours before the stream starts. So yeah, <laughs> you've got like half a day left. <laughs> With that said, thank you to everybody who joined the membership today including Claudines, Alicia the Heart, Grey Wall, Marineth, Elsel, Erzu Shaoshang, Chat Summer, Yama, Certain Hurdle Zero, Mandy, 
missed one, but it's taking a while to load. There we go. Momo by Chim. Checkbo. Gengarify. Kit is sleep deprived. Thank you so much for the gifted membership. Diana, thank you so much for the gifted. Auntie Di Sono. Bow. Lona Blue. Leah Lee. Molly Kane. Jenny Chan, 1123. Exploded Aka. Eliza Ritsujiai. Livy Soros. Joanne Lowe. Yui Suo. Victory M. Xylamin. Kiwi. Yu. Luna Estrella, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. And Satoshi, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. And Jin, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. Oh my god. Hope you enjoyed the stream today. I hope you have a lovely evening. And thank you so much for all the gifted. Please rest well and take it easy. Shirley. Victory M, thank you so much for the gifted. And Lala, oh my god. Thank you so much for the 50 gifted membership, Lala. I can't believe I missed all of these right at the beginning of the stream. Thank you guys so much. That's so many gifted today. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, Lala. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for always gifting so many membership to everybody in the community and being so supportive. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And thank you so much. Lee Sin Yun. And it's loading to scroll up. Sorry, one second. <laughs> there we go. DJ Kicksters. Saijin. Panda. Ophelia. Ify. Yukako, Cheska, Anini Panini, <laughs> and Johnsonette Paul Kiwi. Thank you for donating the food funds. Happy four months, Fu Chan. Thank you. Welcome back for the fourth month. Andy, Annabelle, Yi Jen, and finally Veli the Comfy Twin Shrimp. Thank you so much for joining the membership. I feel like there was something I wanted to. Say. Oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> so the one good thing I did on my break, because I was mostly avoiding social media, um, but I also got like a few things set up on the back end, like a few commissions that I wanted to get set up. And one of them is we finally do have somebody working on the, the two year anniversary badge and also a three year anniversary badge and not quite a four year anniversary badge yet. But the second and third ones are being worked on. So I'm not sure when they'll be done. But it's happening, finally. <laughs> I finally found the right person. <laughs> oh, and finally Nyan Mickey. Sorry, I already I almost missed that one. Thank you to everybody who joined the membership today. And more than that, thank you for everybody who watched today. I enjoy these silly horror games where they're not quite actually scary, but they have some good jump scares and great atmosphere. This one seems like it has a really interesting lore in the background as well, so hopefully. I'll be able to figure out the actual lore in the background as we do part three. We shall see. <laughs> but with that said, thank you all for being here. I'm going to head off now. Ooh, and I'm going to be able to send you to Kuchan. So enjoy Kuchan, who's just doing a chill zatsu. We're going to get her in the reverse rat raid. The Battalion raid. Have a lovely day, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I... We'll catch you guys next time. Fun catch this super noom. I just did, Realm. <laughs> thank you so much for donating the food funds. Have a lovely evening and thank you for being here. That's a huge donation too. Thank you, Realm. And goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. God, my music even restarted right at the end there. Ignore that. You heard nothing. Bye-bye.